being stranded on a raft for 400 days and it all came down to a devastating blow. Half of it's gone, not my fault, and it's our time to move on. I found this area in the ocean nearby and the depth is at least 10 times farther, allowing us to actually build some mega structures and explore an area that looks like it's from One Piece. But not all is lost. This new area will show just how fast we can progress here instead, especially with how I automate the entire world. So why hello there and welcome back everyone to this world for literally one day. So if you guys didn't see my episode 4 at Lost at Sea, I'm combining this series and that series together. Since they're incredibly similar, not really that much of a difference between them, and I accidentally deleted the world when I was recording the 400 day movie, I believe it was, so I lost all of my progress and I really don't feel like redoing it again. Now just to give ourselves a way faster start on that world, because I really don't feel like redoing everything once again, I'm gonna go through and just pick out all of the important stuff so that the first few episodes aren't so boring. I believe I have everything that I want to take over there. You know, the only issue is this fishing rod that I, for some reason, cannot get out of my inventory. So just imagine that there's actually some furnaces right there. But now that we have everything that we want to bring to the new location, we should hopefully have a way easier time starting our lives. The only thing that you're probably going to be noticing that changes is since, you know, in the previous movie before I deleted the world, I think I had diamond armor and all diamond tools already. Like everything was just maxed out. Just just so things aren't too fast forwarded and you know a little bit boring i'm just gonna give myself a maxed out diamond helmet you'll understand why very soon and then just regular diamond tools no enchantments well at least i'll have something to grind for but don't mind me it's time to go to the new location oh man do these seas do not ever calm down until we meet our raft oh my god okay so we have a lot to talk about one i can't zoom in i'm not using optifine and two Oh, I hope you understand why I gave myself a maxed out diamond helmet. Because the ocean is uh, kind of deep in here. That's, that's a bad fish. That, that's a really bad fish. So we need to be incredibly careful. There's actually deadly things all around us. And we have a nice little mystery chest. Wow, what could be in here? Oh my goodness, it's two villager spawn eggs. Wow, who would have guessed? Now, very luckily, even though the sea is incredibly rough, it seems to be nice and calm around, you know, our lovely little base right here which speaking of little now for our base it doesn't entirely matter but i'm just going to be using slabs for right now just to make our area a lot bigger wow look at all that destroyed wood it's so pretty and i i'm pretty sure you know if you kind of just squint your eyes and you look into the distance there seems to be a metric ton of boats but i'm just going to really hope that none of them actually figure out that we're over here and then you know we'll be safe so first up we have something that is very important to do which is empty our entire our inventory because we have way too much stuff on us. Now that we have our lovely little inventory all sorted out, next up, we need to actually just make a nice little base of operations. We need to have at least enough room to where we can move around. And I want to say one of the end goals is going to be actually building a base in the water all the way down there. It's just, you know, it's going to take a whole lot of work. And okay, I don't think we're working with, you know, uh, some bad space right here. Now, I do have a little bit of food to last us probably like a solid 10, 20 days on here, but should at least start some kind of farming going like a tree farm then here comes our lifesaver the lovely iron hoe we definitely need a whole lot more slabs i don't know why i decided to take such few amount of wood i mean all we had a lot oh, god. please do not be thunder please we just got out here oh my god no look at the waves they're so much higher oh god they're actually getting really close to the platform as well okay well it's not looking like a thunderstorm so our lovely little base should be good okay we're immediately going to just dive straight into to a massive farm we're not gonna mess around make like a cute little like two by two nah because at least by 200 days hopefully we have someone of a base down we have all the important items being farmed and we can actually start on the villagers okay besides the super low clouds and the angry sea it looks like our farm is completed i honestly think we're just gonna be focusing seeds for right now i mean we do have the potatoes and the carrots but i kind of just want to save those for when i actually make those into automatic farms with the villagers or with the create mod so i'm not exactly going to be talking about every single mod that is in this i kind of wanted to 
surprise you guys and explore it as the series goes on. But let's just say this is nowhere near like vanilla Minecraft, as you can obviously tell. However, I know it doesn't look beautiful without the shaders and whatnot. If you guys want me to, I can disable the physics mod, which is making the water look this crazy. And then whenever I break something, it looks like that, you know, like it just goes everywhere. You can push it all. It, it does a lot to the game. Like it really transforms Minecraft. So I'll let you guys vote. You could just, you know, say if you want a certain mod included into this mod pack, if you want something taken out. And then I'm just going to go off whatever comment is like the most. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jeez. Now with everything growing right now, we should be able to hold our breath for a little bit. However, if you look right here, I think we have an actual elevator just going straight down to the bottom and we can still breathe in this. Oh, this might be really dangerous fish. Just please don't notice me. You guys might find out very soon what they are. I just want to see if I can go as long as possible without actually interacting with them. Oh no. Wait, did I bring kelp with me? Because that might be a food source, but that might... Oh no, no, no. We need that for a very specific machine that's going to be allowing me to actually uh, build a lot of farms. So we definitely cannot explore without any doors. We need, oh, please tell me I have enough oxygen. Oh my God, I'm swimming so slow. I need to get back to that air column. Oh my God. Oh, this is bad. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there, right there, right there. Don't drown. Don't drown. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Need the surface, need the surface, need the surface. And just a reminder, that's why I gave myself a maxed out diamond helmet. Oh my God, I didn't bring kelp. Oh, that's really not good. Dude, how did I forget? one of the most important items. Ah, uh, hmm. well, we can't go back to our previous base. It's way too far. Oh God, we might actually have to go check out those ships, but I really doubt that any of them have kelp on them. We might need to find a sunken ship, which even then, I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but God, it's so difficult to see down there. Even if I do find one, I'm probably not even gonna be able to notice it. At least the seas are fun to actually travel in. I say that now before like a kraken grabs me and hello boat. I have a feeling since this is a warm ocean, we're not gonna find any kelp i'm pretty sure kelp are only in like the cold ocean so let's see maybe the people on here are friendly wait are they actually loaded no they're not oh see it's all just for looks yeah no we're totally with friendly people okay the second i said that i immediately hear unfriendly people oh dear god <laughs> um okay yeah this might be an issue okay maybe they overlook something maybe there's another entrance somewhere i want to figure out where do they keep all of their loot Let, let's just be smart and we're just actually just gonna go straight through the wall uh oh uh, uh, don't shoot me, please. That is such a cool animation. Hi. Hi, how would you guys like to, you know, not shoot me? Oh my god. How many are in here? Okay, well, don't mind me. Just give me at least like 20 hours, 20 hours, 27 minutes, and I'll be able to get inside. Man, I can use my bow, but I don't think it's really gonna do anything. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think we're good. No, 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 no. Don't need that. Don't need that. So there's a lot of angry ones upstairs. There's also an angry one right in front of me. Don't hit me. Don't shoot. Oh, okay, phew. Just make it do like a little handstand right over there. Beautiful. Do you guys have anything? thing of value in here. <gasps> oh, hello. I will be taking that apple and some bones. Good, good. That'll be good for some more bone meals. So we can actually speed up our farm even more. And hello. That is a lot of you down there. Uh, where's the stairs? Like, there's no way I need to drop down there, right? Oh my god, please don't come down. Please don't. No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. No. It's okay, buddy. You don't need to shoot me. You don't need to shoot me. Okay, maybe we go to a different boat. Because I do remember seeing that boat right there in front of us. What? you should be a lot friendlier since you're a lot tinier, right? Like, there's no way you could have that much crew. No, no. No, 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 no. That's okay. We don't need that whatsoever. Oh my god, that's gonna fall down to the bottom of the ocean. No! Ah, now I'm no Scientologist, but I don't think you should have any water in here. Yeah, it looks like one of your crewmates actually already figured that out. Do you guys seriously not have any loot? Wait, then other than lanterns, what was the point of this place? I didn't even bring any bees with me, so that probably would have been another good thing to actually do. Then we could have made these candles just for, like, another kind of a light source and i do want honey for the villagers we should be able to still spawn in a beehive like that actually isn't too difficult i just need flowers which for that one we needed to go and make an iron farm for that why do i feel like these are gonna explode don't blow up on my face what are you this is a driftwood log huh is there anything below you no that's good to know oh no do i actually need to go back to that one pillager ship uh do i see anything down below maybe if i'm lucky enough no but I don't think I see uh, any kelp or ship. I can't believe you forgot to tell me to bring the kelp, Meg. Come on. Like, I just, I can't believe you. You're not even, you know, assisting me here like you're being paid to. If we start from the back 
Yes, yes, I think that can be good. Everyone knows that it's best to enter through the back, so if I can sneak my way inside, I have a feeling that we're actually near the captain's quarters. Which, wow, these are really beautiful flags. Hello. Ow. Wait, you can shoot through this? Oh, okay. I thought these were closed. Oh, wait. No, you can't even hit through that. How did you shoot me? This is proving to be a lot more difficult than needed to be. Hi, don't shoot me. Do I actually have to be respectful and actually enter and fight the ship like it was intended to? Like, I can't just, you know, squeeze by you guys and just steal. Ow. Okay, okay, wait, wait. At least let me get out onto the boat, please. Thank you. Okay, you're down. Miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Smooches. Mwah. Oh, God. No, 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 no. The water's throwing me. Ow. Oh, my God. Don't shoot me. Okay, we just hide right behind here. Do you see the three chests? Good. We're in the clear. I'm just gonna take everything, forget it. Actually, take the chest. We need the storage chest yeah, and more useless stuff. And wow, you guys are really proving to not be useful whatsoever. Why am I here? Ah, <gasps> ooh, you might actually be useful. Hey, please get off my ship, thank you. We actually probably should take all of that. Oh, hello. We'll just take all of you. It might be wise to take the food. Seeing how long it's gonna be taking for the farm to actually grow to where it can actually give me food. And we're starting to run low on our pumpkin pies. So yeah, let's just be a little smart with this. You know, thank you guys so much for the food donation. I greatly appreciate you all. Now, I'd appreciate you even more if you'd stop shooting me. Listen here, bucko. How do you guys have an entire ship and you don't have anything of use in here? Like, that's actually kind of impressive. Not in a good way. That is a very interesting uh, passenger to have on your ship. Hi. I'm sorry for moving around all of your floorboards. Please don't get mad and shoot me. But shoot each other. I do approve of that. So many of you. Look at the floor below. What? This might not be really possible right now to actually go through this entire place, especially since I'm not seeing any loot that we actually want to entice me to go lower after a very solid like 15 seconds of thinking yeah let's just go back to our base one we're almost like completely full on our inventory and yeah we need to hopefully come up with another way of actually getting kelp i'm pretty positive you can find kelp in sunken ships the hard part is actually noticing sunken ships i don't know if there's going to be any around us well, i was looking at the depth of this place i'm pretty sure the pressure down there probably completely crushed all of them there you are okay phew didn't lose the base okay beautiful now that we're emptied let's just go straight back out hopefully another ship because i mean if that one actually had some kind of vegetation i don't think it's wrong to assume that another one could have you know different types of stuff oh my god that's a lot of shark right there i just realized that we didn't bring any doors with us so even if we were to find a sunken ship i couldn't do anything with it so and we should make a bed oh <gasps> wait what is that that appears to be glass wait that looks like a building as well hold up wait 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 we might actually have some stuff down there okay i see you king now the hard part is going to be reaching straight down my god i cannot see anything <laughs> i hate this so much there you are and this is exactly why we make doors and uh, hello oh god it's more of this like really interesting blocks okay wait that just gave me sticks so i wonder if these are like a special kind of like a uh, chest you know and then i just break them and then it drops me cool stuff okay that gave me a stick that gave me wood and this gives me air. It's amazing how far technology has come. I mean, I guess this is cool if I were trying to make a base down here and then, you know, I just start with one of these and then we just, you know, fill it out, drain out all the water and then boom, like we have like a nice little shortcut, but eh, kind of don't care. My God, that noise is terrifying. I hate that. It sounds like a creeper sneaking up on me. You, you don't need to do that, Cthulhu. It is totally fine. You don't need to come for me. Hello, my God. Hello. Wow. Okay. So I see Bill Gates owned this before. Yeah. Yep. They definitely did. Thank you very much. That'll be incredibly useful for me for whenever we start uh, working with villagers. This is an interesting one. I mean, you might be useful. There are some machines that require coral. So, I mean, I guess why not? Yeah, might as well take those. Interesting. Very interesting building down here. This ocean is unique. I made so many mental notes to actually get kelp before leaving. That's why I had an extra inventory slot. It's not much to ask for. We're in the ocean. You would think that kelp would be easy to find. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh my God. 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 Those are the creepers. Those are the creeper fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, dude, that just woke me up so much. Okay. Wow. Huh. Yep. Who would have guessed the ocean is not friendly? Well, uh, after getting my back blown out, yeah, we're not going back in the ocean. No, 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 no. I'm so traumatized. Uh, no, no, nope. No, no. Oh my God. Stop it. Who's controlling my legs? I'm okay. You know what? Future me can worry about the kelp. You know, we don't technically need it right now. We can get in the future. Oh my 
god, I wonder if there's some way for me to be able to hear while we're underwater because I didn't hear anything other than the Grim Reaper coming for me. N not like that. Yeah, never mind. The this is why I normally don't explore until I'm a lot stronger. I think the only reason why I survived there was because of my helmet. Because I don't think that iron was doing anything for me whatsoever. Oh, oh my god, I miss this floor so much. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love this so much. It's so dumb. Who is first the bone meal? Yes, yes, yes. First, we're going to be focusing on this. We need to finish up this farm. We can start producing stuff because I want to start working on villagers so we can hopefully start getting all of the enchanting books that we need. Also a iron farm. Okay, beautiful. That's all done and made a composter. Now for the next area, let's just start building out in this direction. We're just going to be making a villager little, uh, a happy place. Okay, so it might seem like I really enjoy and I love the villagers. That's not the case whatsoever. So we're just gonna be making like a relatively small little area for them to, you know, all uh, hang out in. But I also wanna use this area for the tree farm and then possibly starting the villager trading area over here as well. Wait, am I going crazy or is that a mini map on the top left corner? Wait, how did I not realize that that mod was never working? Wait, that was supposed to be there the entire time. How did I not notice that? I'm happy I restarted my game. Now look, at the platform you're gonna notice one little issue and then you're gonna you know probably notice another issue i don't have any more wood so we're just gonna immediately start on our tree farm yep this is gonna be a whole lot of good waiting around here obviously we can't go far from our base i don't know why i'm still growing the trees right here but just so things can actually grow we should probably try and find some gravel because i mean we got 23 more dirt right there but it can run out relatively fast for the love of god do not tell me that, that is a creeper fish please i am stupid enough to go up to a fish that could possibly explode and see if it explodes on me well at least it didn't explode on my face <laughs> what i didn't bring any doors with me now i don't think i'm asking for too much right like i don't think asking for gravel is actually that insane god we have to be incredibly observant oh cool there's hammerhead sharks above me i'm sure nothing bad will come from that that fish is way too big that, that is not a normal fish uh-uh ah, geez ha what what? Oh my god, wait, am I dying from the pressure? Now I'm being attacked by very long words? Okay, so, gotcha. Uh, we can't go down that far, okay, because of pressure. Right, I guess I'm not invincible. So, frankly, I don't know how to combat that. So, I hate this ocean so much. Uh, I guess we can see if we could find some gravel around here. Hi, buddy, don't touch me, please. I'm already having a bad day, please come on. Now, at the very least, if we never find any gravel, it actually, it's fine. It's just, we'll have to be getting it way, way later on from a machine. It's just, it would be cool to, you know, do something while we're waiting for all of our trees to grow, which doesn't look like that's going to be happening. So we might as well return back to the surface. Wait, are you aggressive? Oh, cool. So you're friendly. Oh, okay. So you're like a goth girl. You only look scary, but you're actually really kind. Whoa. Oh my God. That's weird. I accidentally just turned the shaders on, but this looks so pretty. Like, wow. But okay, fine. If we have to stay up here and wait for all of the trees to grow, then I guess we should also start growing the spruce ones that we have. Okay, at the very least, the platform's done. We planted all the trees. And now we can actually start saving up the wood for some future stuff. At least building a really nice box for the villagers. Okay, well, I was gonna light up the entire place, but now we're even low on that. Did I bring coal with me? Beautiful, I did. Thank you. At least I brought something. Okay, so slight issue. I only have one bed and I kind of can't make any more beds right now and i kind of need beds for the villagers so there's two routes that we can go down for this one i could make a mob spawner which at some point we probably should do that at least for the skeletons because the skeletons are going to be really important or we go around to all the ships around our base and then we just kind of yoink all of their wool from all of their mass which i think that is a way smarter choice so that i can actually you know tower up these and actually get all of the wool but oopsies okay okay chill 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 daddy chill and wow we does this option look a whole lot faster plus there's just so many ships around us so you know this won't be hard whatsoever please don't be thunder okay if you say it's not thunder i'll believe you but don't worry i don't plan on setting up a hilton hotel so we're definitely not going to be collecting all these it's just unlike our last raft that we were on i think we should have at least like 15 beds i don't 
think I'll ever need that many villagers that rapidly. Wait, why am I collecting so much? Because really, I only need the villagers for all of those enchanting books. A lot of the farms are actually going to be made with actual machinery. I think we're good with that much. I don't think we need more. But I will be needing a whole lot of wood. We can make all of the beds, so thank you very much. Okay, beautiful. Thank you guys for your donations. Love you all. Probably be back soon. I don't think I could ever get tired of these waves. Like, this actually makes the ocean feel alive. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look how much we're spinning like this makes it so much more fun to actually go boating Whee! <laughs> like i would actually choose to do this over using an elytra oh my god we almost did a front flip where's my base by the way i think i'm going towards it but i honestly can't tell no no no, no. i think it is over here yeah we're fine Whee! <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know that my guy was so chill like the Okay, now obviously to use all of these beds of which number I do not know. Jesus. <laughs> wait, on second thought, so instead of having to wait for every single tree around here to just grow, because we're going to be needing a lot of blocks to actually build all of the things that we want to to make all of these farms possible. Okay, wait, well, now that I say that every single tree around here just wants to have a grow spurt and just start zooming on by. Dear God, they won't stop growing. I'm trying to show you an example that would be faster. It's like the trees are telling me to not leave. They're trying to keep me at the base. Uh, is that like an like an ominous warning then? Like, is there something dangerous? Because I was going to say, we can just go out to all of the ships and then just chop down all of their logs. Because then we wouldn't have to wait for all these trees to grow, but they're now starting to all just grow very rapidly for literally no reason. So I guess we can stay. <sighs> you're so impatient, Meg. I can't believe you're trying to make me go out there and just actually do work. Okay, yeah, we don't even need to wait anymore. We can actually build the villagers area. Now, of course, this area was originally for the villagers, but I think we should just build somewhere else. Like, we'll head this direction, and then we'll just put the villagers over here. Okay, so I might have made a little bit of an oopsie poopsie, but I made the villagers area about the exact same size as the tree area. No, wait, wait, swim back up. Why are you guys sinking? Don't shoot me. Ah, wait, why are you guys sinking? Ah, you can't hit me. Ah, now you're fighting each other <laughs> hope those actually hit a creeper fish but i'm hoping that i got some bones from them as well not just arrows nope just one arrow now anyways as i was saying so we're gonna be using up a whole lot of torches it's just i know i'm gonna be needing a lot of villagers like kind of really quickly and then after that i don't think we really need villagers anymore maybe down below whenever we start building down there maybe we'll build them places where they can appear like they're actually alive and contributing something i don't know but actually here before we even start collecting more wood we really need to go around just start lighting up everything okay tree area should be safe and then before we start anything with the villagers let's go light you up Ooh, okay beautiful the entire area is done and i actually have enough wood to actually build them at least like a hole none of this is actually going to be our final base like everything that i'm building right now is ugly on purpose and it's strictly just so we could just get everything going at once like if that makes any sense it's not supposed to be pretty uh, that's basically what i'm getting at and don't worry whenever we actually start building the real base then it will be pretty it's just right now yep this is just so we can actually get to playing a whole lot faster oh good out of torches again we should really start cooking some of the logs that we get it's just i'm really worried about doing that right now because I don't know what I need to be building right now because I'm kind of just winging everything as we go along. We'll use up at least eight coal. We'll just start this. We'll do oak. Why not? And then just like that, our very beautiful villager area is done. God, I love the animations for this. Okay, not bad. 14 beds. That should honestly be enough. Like, I don't see us needing to go much faster than that. And then we're just going to leave one block just so they can all get into their beds. Wow, that was actually perfect. We can take these two love please and i should be able to make a lot of bread right way up there goes all my pumpkin pies and i could have myself some bread but i'm just so generous and amazing that you know what here this will just be for you too where are you going no oh, oh my god i'm stupid oh no 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 uh what happened to the door oh god i'm so dumb oh my god i'm so stupid okay i'm very happy that they weren't conscious enough to actually figure out how to walk through a door but yeah we need to use okay well we'll use instead like i know i always use trap doors but and we'll just use some oak fence gates also i'm tired of having an extra arrow so there we go oh that probably just hit nemo hi can you like get away please pretty please maybe beautiful once everything clears should be good with that if anything i'll probably create
create like an airlock thing. So in case if they were to get through one, they can't get through the other. But if I remember correctly, I think I could pick you up. Yep, I can. Okay, so even if they get out, it doesn't matter. I can bring them right back in here. Now, you two have a very special job, okay? Probably millions of people jealous of you. Need you guys to make a whole lot more of you, okay? So there's a whole lot of bread. Come on, there we go. Yep, you secured the bread. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me just get out of here, you little freaks. Please tell me it's working. <gasps> ah! Oh, yep, I see him. A very creepy shot of him right behind you as if he's like a ghost child. He's trying to slam dunk your head because you kind of look like a basketball on top. Okay, now while they go, we need to get bees. And the entire reason why I brought the birch saplings is because I believe that's the only tree that actually gets bees to naturally spawn in. Oh, God, now wasn't it like I need a flower or is that not actually needed? Because I obviously I didn't bring any with me. I mean, we'll just try it. But I have a strong feeling that I do actually need flowers for this. So we might be building an iron farm like incredibly soon. Chee hee hoo hoo. I hope I can get enough bread from you. I don't have anything to eat. So I just did a really stupid move. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I kind of almost used up every single seed that I just got from this farm to make more bread. God, I'm so dumb. Meg, why didn't you stop me? For me to make the iron farm, we do need three more beds. So hello. Long time no see my friends. It's me again. And beautiful. Oh man, that was definitely the hardest part of building that iron farm. <laughs> Let's see, how you guys doing? Huh? Is everything going swell in here? Please don't tell me all of that bread was only enough for two kids. So let's start gathering up even more materials for it. And then by chopping down all those trees, one, getting a whole lot of resources, hopefully this can actually give me a whole lot of bone meal so I can fix Meg's mistake. Okay, that would be a no. I got three. Wait, never mind. There was one on the ground. Okay, there's two routes that we can go down. Since we do need a lot of food, so we can start making a lot of villagers incredibly fast. Oh, hi. I already have an iron farm. Okay, wonderful. Wait, this is amazing. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. I can actually get the flowers. What we'll do is, is first we get into here. I think I need to be four high form but hey you come here buddy okay now please drop a flower oh you're kidding wait really only iron yeah i guess it's fine oh wait you're still making babies very nice but with iron golems actually being able to spawn in there one i wasn't expecting that whatsoever but we could actually get some flowers regardless i do need to build an iron farm because you know i'm gonna be needing a lot of iron i think for some of the recipes for the machines we could just build it later on because i'm kind of only building the iron farm so i can get some poppies to hopefully get some bees might sound really sad that I'm doing all that work just for some bees. But then it lets me build the villagers trading area in a really cool way because then they're all going to be trapped in their own little boxes. But no, I think we should. I cannot see anything whatsoever. As I was saying, we should just do the iron farm. We'll just get the difficult one out of the way. Whew. Okay, the farm is almost fixed and back to normal. Uh -huh. Why, hello there, iron golem. Uh huh. Do you want to play a game? Uh -huh. So down, so down. Okay. God, you almost actually got over here before I started going up. So submissive how he looks up like that. Are you kidding? Wait, wait, wait. Second iron golem and no flowers? Do they not give any flowers in 1.19? Yeah, four again? Okay, I mean, thanks, but I wouldn't mind some flowers like for once in my life. I don't think I've ever hoped for poppies from an iron golem before in my entire life. But speaking of me being a genius, there's actually a way for us to build this iron farm area without actually having to make it spawn proof and, you know, and go super crazy with the iron golem area or build it super duper high up so it can't spawn on the ground. And that's by building it on the upper slab. So right now, like I can't even place down any torches because this entire area is technically an air block. So we can actually just build the iron farm like literally just right here. Now, if it's going to be centered or not, that's a different question. I don't think I'm going to be trying too hard to make it centered because once again, I don't really care about the upstairs surface area area, you know? I only care about making the base down below look pretty. Speaking of pretty. No, not a cat. No, no, no. He's, oh, hi. Hey, can you come here? Hey, buddy. Man, final use an arrow. Please give me flowers. Please give me flowers, please. Come, really? There's no way. That's the third one to give me four and no poppies. Meg, what did you do? I know you're up to something. You did something to my world. Okay, I should be able to line up the entire machine to go right there because like that's kind of centered because I'm thinking about all the hoppers that are going to be going behind this thing. I'll try and make it a little bit pretty. You know, I don't want it to be completely ugly, but no promise there. And then, at least with Iron Golem spawning in there, we should never have an issue with making any of the hoppers. But you know, I do luckily have a bit of iron right here. And since Birch is so ugly, we might as well use this for all of the chests that we need for this, which didn't, okay, yeah, yeah, one did grow. Okay, I 
think I can actually build this to where the machine will line up with this. Like this looks completely fine and perfect. I'm going to be going off of my memory on how to build iron farms because at least for this series, I would like to try and build everything my own way until we get to a very specific part of this mod pack to where I'll probably have to watch YouTube videos on how to do certain things because it gets really confusing really fast, but it shouldn't be too hard, especially since, you know, I'm the greatest Minecraft player ever. Why'd you laugh at that? Now let's see. So if it has to fall here this is where the drop off point of that's gonna be and i think this has to be eight blocks at least okay so like ignore the cloud but at least for today i'm somewhat figuring out exactly where all of the placements are gonna be going i'm trying really hard to reverse the build on an iron farm just so that all of this will line up perfectly with that down there okay i swear it wasn't me but i don't know why that iron golem is already damaged i don't think it spawned in the wall okay i know i've said this yesterday but don't don't worry. Now I'm sure that I figured it all out because I'm trying to think of it to where this is where the beds go. The wall is going to go right here, which immediately leads to them going right onto there. I think, I think we're good. I, I think all these placements are correct. And here, well, at least set it up for right now. But I think before I even start building anything whatsoever, because getting the villagers in here is literally going to be incredibly easy because I just have to pick them up. A part that I'm worried about, which I shouldn't have fallen asleep because now we just have to wait even longer, but we need to get the zombie in here first, which I really wish that I could pick up the zombie, but oopsie poopsie, I can't. And I don't think I need to change out any of these blocks i just need to put some glass on top of them so here at the very least we'll just go get it prepared for the zombie which we might have to be like somewhat careful with glass but i don't think we do i mean if anything i'm just gonna swim down there and just get some sand oh right, here you know what we can actually just start repairing everyone's room actually here we'll build this side of the wall out of glass just so we can actually monitor anything that goes on inside and just like that i think we are completely ready oh wait 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 so we need to build an actual staircase coming up here which i need to get a trap door it is almost nighttime gotta go fast and then ah, then just so the zombie can actually get up there this will surprise you but we need to build a staircase ow okay beautiful we got the staircase ready ah but pro actually no 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 we're most definitely lighting this up because i don't want anything to spawn on the staircase perfect what we do need is for things to actually spawn in we'll just build like a little bridge going out and then we're just gonna make a nice little little square area for them hopefully far enough away from all the light i mean it looks dark enough okay now pretty please something spawn on there something that's green and blue not just green okay well a skeleton is cool i actually do need that actually let's get rid of the skeleton before anything else spawns in because i don't want you shooting them. beautiful oh actually here while everything's spawning in let's go put down that one anvil and we need to make that name tag beautiful very happy that i stole that from the pirate ship very happy that i brought these and then we'll just name the zombie subscribe disguise something that everyone should do Dang it, come on something other than a creeper hi bud no don't blow up oh my god okay never mind nope using this do i need to make the spawn area even bigger let's go oh my god zombie oh wait that's right it's halloween today oh we're keeping you oh yes 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 wait oh no 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 here let's go for a jack-o-lantern one never mind no no we are gonna be very picky actually no 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 i was gonna leave you but i don't want to drown if we can actually get a jack-o-lantern one that'd be sick like like a lit up one i feel like every time one thing spawns in i actually have to come over here and kill it or else nothing else will spawn in okay so we weren't lucky enough didn't get anything cool last night but i'm sure we'll get some something tonight please pretty pretty please uh, okay i'm not gonna lie this is really not looking good am i just too close is what i would have said if i was a loser hey beautiful oh my god wait you're even a, an actual villager one he's come up here you look oh god dude that looks so sick and it makes it even cooler that you're gonna be traumatizing your brothers please fall in okay few okay there you go then we name you beautiful okay and then i honestly think i'll just keep that trap door right there just kind of funny if i walk over we can kind of see him in a way but very beautiful oh wait Ooh, we might want to just break that glass now actually just so we can do that because if the villagers see him at all then they're just gonna immediately start spawning in uh, iron golems and oh my god whoa oh, we have another one oh, almost um yeah we should really go light that up wow you are working a lot better than 
on the this night and the previous night. Hi, don't touch me. Thank you. Okay, we need to sleep. Why did it have to be the only mobs that don't catch on fire? Don't blow up. Even though, like, since they're in the water, it's not going to do anything. But still, still. Oh, oh, he's still in there, right? Oh, okay, beautiful. And I'm, I mean, regardless, even if I open that up, he'll be fine because he has that helmet. And, you know, he's also in water. But you're so beautiful. Ah, I completely forgot that today's Halloween. So, yeah, we're going to have the coolest zombie ever for an iron farm. So, never mind. This is definitely going to be permanent. I am not going to be tearing this down. Or at least I'll save the zombie. You know, it's just, yeah, we definitely can't lose him. <laughs> I could just rebuild this. It's not difficult. But I don't think I need anything thing else like for any kind of farm i'm pretty sure this is the only time when i actually need something to spawn in and beautiful i can't believe my diamond axe is already halfway to being broken which i frankly i just i don't care if any of my diamond stuff breaks really except for the helmet i will cry if that one breaks but actually no it has mending never mind that can't break but regardless if any of our diamond tools or whatever breaks it really doesn't matter i have extra diamonds on hand and i can just get any of the villagers to sell me diamonds and stuff so it doesn't matter i won't lie i'm a little disappointed that the sharks aren't aggressive or dangerous at all because that's kind of the point on why i added them <laughs> i was trying to add you know some more difficulty to this but speaking of difficulty hello oh my god you're still having babies oh wow wait we might be completely fine on food then hello don't move nope okay don't worry i got a spot for you don't you worry bud this is why i love the carry on mod i, I could truly never get tired of it it just makes handling villagers so much easier here. Okay, beautiful. All three of you are good. Don't think I need to change anything down here. Like, I'm pretty sure all of this is correct. We just now need to actually build the iron farm, which I, I think I'm doing it correctly so far. Okay, I believe this is everything that I need. I'm just bringing slabs just in case if I run out of glass, but I believe we just have to cover the entire, like, from here all the way to that block over there, which this should be seven, six, seven. Beautiful. And then this should go all the way to eight. Eight. Yes, because then we have these three right here, which goes, oh, oh my God, I actually built it correctly. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Then I know you're just going to be stairs right here. And then I think it goes like that. Boom. Boom. Yeah, this actually, it all lines up and it's all perfect. Oh, beautiful. We just have to fill in everything. And then I don't think I need to worry about this being entirely made out of wood because I'll be very surprised if the lava actually gets up here to hit it. And then we could be using walls for this instead of actual blocks but eh and then at least just for this one layer we're going to be using glass for it just so i can see inside of this like while we're down there just in case somehow an iron golem you know gets stuck in the wall okay but this should be fine and then just so the iron golem can't spawn on top of here we go around this entire thing with glass that should be done <gasps> oh um i need lava I think I actually brought one lava with me. Wait, wait, wait. I think I just created an issue that's actually not even an issue. So I'm worrying over nothing whatsoever. Oh my God. I love past me so much. I impress myself more and more every single day. That's actually insane because I actually can't get lava. I just realized that. I can't go down far enough into the world to actually get lava or else I get hit with that one too much pressure, blah, blah, blah. We'll start on the water now, why not? Oh, wait, no, 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 I need to make signs, never mind. Okay, I believe I made the correct amount of signs. If not, it's entirely Meg's fault again. Okay, good, good, yep, that goes to the correct length. Everything looks correct up here, like I don't think I built anything wrong. Other than this, this is the only thing that I can actually see causing an issue, but I'm pretty sure with the stairs right here, this should fix any kind of collision. You know, like it should save it, I think. But I think, ow, ow. But I think I want to be very expensive and actually build a shoot all around this. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't have any form of stone. All right, here, before we go and deal with that, uh, <laughs> come here, buddy, please. I need poppies, please. Yes, yes, finally. That is mine, don't take it. Oh my God, finally. Okay, we got one. Okay, now if it still works, we just have to wait. And then really hope that it beehive actually spawns with that and then also once a beehive spawns in we need to be close to it <laughs> So then in case, you know, it does spawn a beehive, then we can quickly get the bees. I think we can actually go low enough to where we can get some stone. I need to bring the doors. Well, here, we can never have too much sand. So what we'll do is we'll start clearing away some of the sand right here, which should hopefully then give us access to stone. There ain't nothing like mining underwater to where you cannot see anything whatsoever. Okay, I think I gathered enough cobblestone. We should be good to at least make the shoot. I try to collect enough to where if I ever need it for something 
in the future, we should hopefully have some kind of an inventory for it. Just for the love of God, do not tell me you're one of the boom boom fish, please. So for very obvious reasons, we're just going to build it out of glass down here. Also, should probably remove this now, as long as we could just make it to where no lava touches the top. Like, I really feel like that's not hard to do. If anything, at least we have the first two layers on. Yeah, I only got five left. Okay, well, we got two, so we can at least see something. But I kind of don't feel like making more glass. I feel like that's just going to be too much work right now, and we just want to kind of zoom by on stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. We actually do need more glass, because once I build that chute up there, we need to put glass on top of it, so iron golems don't spawn on top of that. So, hello, sand. Okay, and then we'll just cook that while that's cooking. Let's go and start making this bad boy. But yeah, I know that I don't need to make this chute whatsoever. We're like, we're completely fine not having it, but at the same time, I just want to make 100% certainty that iron golems will go into this. You know, like, I don't want them to go anywhere else on my platform. Oh, man, yeah, we're just too short. Not like that. Like, I'm very tall. Very tall person. I'm not short like Meg. I'm normal height, you know? And wow, who said that this would look ugly? This looks so beautiful. Yeah, we're definitely going to change this to glass in the future. Once we make a very specific machine, you see. It's just right now, it's going to be really hideous. It was Meg's idea, not mine. I think we only need one air block right there. Sorry, because I'm pretty sure the signs go here. And then lava goes here. So I don't know why you keep questioning me. Hello, <laughs> literally a professional. Never made one mistake in this game, ever. Then if we just put the lava right there and then really quickly close that off, if there's a way that that hits any of the slabs out here, I'll be immensely surprised. Like there's literally no way that this catches on fire, right? I'll just pay very close attention to this area for a while, you know, until everything is like for certain gonna stay like that. But yeah, we definitely need to figure out the issue with pressure because I'm going to be needing at least one more. <gasps> Wait, no, I'll need another block of lava because I took my portal from the last ref, we could just go to the nether and then we have lava. <gasps> oh my God, that's amazing. Yes, yeah, Meg, how did you forget about that? Obviously the nether has lava. Like, come on, girl, like, come on. You, you need to you need to do better, okay? Please don't tell me your thunder. Okay, good. Okay, next, we just need to go to the top and then start putting down some more glass up there to be A-OK-O. And beautiful, I think we're ready to turn on the machine. I just need to go and get some cups of wine and we should be good. Probably take it out to a nice movie as well okay <sighs> fingers crossed i'm gonna say you yeah, good you're freaking out i really wish i could see thank you just don't want to hit the zombie okay, beautiful and beautiful okay machine should be on everything should be good to go oh my god it's already working look at that beauty right there no oh, look at that beauty oh wow look how his body just kind of just does that okay at least it's gonna be funny every time we look over here and gorgeous okay well we might as well go put the rest of our lava in there just to clear up some space well that's not a sign that you want to see uh hey bud can you get out of there actually your deal chase me over here Ooh, wow you're gonna get me oh no don't touch me ah thank you we could technically make this an xp farm as well if i remove some of the glass down below and then just make the surrounding area some stone so that none of this catches on fire whenever an iron golem drops we could just hit it and then technically we have a pretty decent xp farm i can't get over this water this is actually so incredibly beautiful it's so nice seeing water in minecraft actually look like that nice okay so it's just like a typical one i'm pretty positive if i were to make this walls then they wouldn't get stuck maybe in the future when we come back to you know make this a little bit more beautiful maybe we'll do it then but for the most part eh i don't exactly mind it it's just you know whenever it seems like it's slowing down we'll just go up there knock them loose knock them up maybe you know one of those are you guys just allergic to giving me poppies like, where are the poppies still no poppy these iron golems hate me i don't know why they're so rare now i swore in my life in the past i would always get at least one per iron golem uh, you you probably have one don't you whoop wasn't me no please don't come over here and stand right here in the doorway and be super easy for me to hit no oh god whatever shall i do do oh no watch him hit me once and kill me and then i have to restart see even that i'm so confused oh my god there, there's still none <laughs> what i oh okay i don't know what to say uh i don't know what's wrong with that but and now we have an entire base to tend to because i've been neglecting this this entire time for that iron farm why did i build that again was it actually just for the poppy oh god this one grew uh you don't have a beehive right no okay well 
If I ever get any more poppies, we can try, you know, putting the poppies right next to more of the birch saplings. In case you're wondering, yes, farming is incredibly hard with the physics mod. So I think I'm definitely down for a vote if you guys want me to keep this mod in. Which, keep in mind, that's why the waves look like that. It's because of the physics mod. It's just, we won't be keeping it for the entire series 100% because once I make some automatic farms, this will become too laggy for me to even open the world. So it's only here for a limited amount of time. Or maybe we just use it until that point comes. Not like that. Actually, here, you know what? Since I have unlimited iron now, yeah, let's fix that. We're not doing manual labor. No, oh my God, you actually have some. I just don't actually have any uh dirt to actually you know combine it with wait no oh we can actually get gravel from the nether never mind i don't know why i keep expecting to find everything down there when literally the nether just has everything that i need i don't know why meg is just not noticing that ah oh, beautiful now we could just be lazy while it does the work for me i love this like machine so much you have no idea should we start making more villagers no no no, no. okay we're gonna wait until we only have two villagers left in here and then we'll start producing more of them just because once we start making the traders i don't want any of them to actually have food on them or else then you know it's just a waste so by keeping it down to only two villagers in there then you know it's 100 percent guarantee that none of the trading ones have food on them <laughs> it's so bad it's so bad oh my god just off of like five trees alone it starts breaking my computer <laughs> and then especially once we start running through <laughs> Oh my god. Love it up very faintly off in the distance. You can hear iron golems just dying. And you know what? Since you were lucky enough to spawn out here, I'll just leave you. Just in case if somehow enemies do manage to get on the platform, he can protect me. Okay, so I think we're now ready. I mean, I really wish that I can actually get some bees to spawn in because I really, really want honey for the villagers to stand on in the trading area. But if we actually use a slab below them, we might actually be able to get the same outcome come it's just they'll be a little bit lower for us to click on to start trading okay no no we need to go to the nether because i need to get some gravel so we can make more dirt so that then i can make some bamboo because we're gonna need bamboo for a stick trade so that then we can get some emeralds to buy everything out actually here i feel like we should just make the portal over here and then hello beautiful glowstone ah i can't make a flint and steel um hmm the only other way that i can think of right now that'd be easier than me trying to find some gravel down there which i really don't think that there's any would be taking that lava and then we just light it as if we're playing skyblock well we're just gonna see if we can find any type of gravel gravel or flint i don't think there's anything that drops it so it's like there's not a mob that we can look for but everything comes down to gravel that i need who knows maybe i can get lucky enough and then one of the ships around us that i haven't visited yet will actually have gravel or flint you know just something i don't think that's that outlandish of a hope and then at least i'll never lose my house now because i could just look for the iron farm also if we actually find destroyed nether portals down there there's also a possibility of them straight up having flint and steel eh, i mean if anything at least this one has a lantern for me wow that's a really good door in to some kind of loot i can't tell still can't see <sighs> nothing okay yeah, so those boxes are just useless let's just get rid of you and then i'm going to assume that this boat is the exact same thing uh i don't mind you know some more candles and lanterns so thanks hello pokeball oh my god you actually even reached the surface that makes me so sad that it's actually just seagrass that's growing around there instead of you know kelp or something nice there has to be something with these crates i really wish i knew what they were called or what mod they're part of but like do they seriously only give sticks left clicking shift left click right clicking shift right click it doesn't do anything with them same with an axe so it's like I, I don't know if i'm you know supposed to be doing something else with them but feels like they should do something more but regardless we go back out and search for more boats or you know even a destroyed another portal oh it's another special building down there which i would go down there if i was a lot braver but the fact that i just like almost died from two or three creeper fish blowing up on my face like that but hello pirates argumates oh my god there's a lot of you coming out here wow if i didn't know any better i would assume that you guys are really angry i mean you don't like me that's a ghost i almost didn't even see that who would have figured that ghosts are invisible oh my god oh <gasps> 
Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. That golden skeleton, I actually need to kill him. Wait, 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 wait. That is actually huge. Oh, hello. This is huge too. Oh my god. Skimitar. It's actually not that bad. If it did a few more damage, I would actually use it. Oh my god, no. Go away. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit too many enemies here. A little bit too many ghosts coming. Okay, and then I just kill you. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, yes, golden skull. Okay, I don't remember the exact recipe, but I can just look it up. But I know that it actually makes something like incredibly powerful. So I can't believe I actually found that. And, uh, okay, so up here should be some more enemies, it looks like, which I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. Hello? Hi. Yep, don't mind me. I'm just going to be very cheap on this, okay? Yeah, ouch. Ow. Who is shooting me? Ah, oh, sea grass. Why couldn't it be kelp? I would have laughed really hard if there was kelp in here. Oh, actually, here, I'll just take your chest and your lantern. Come here, ghost. Come on. I have something special to give you. What do I feel like if this ghost were to touch me, it would just kill me instantly? Okay, sure. Surely these pirates have like amazing loot down below. Oh my God, I thought it fell. I like how I can actually get a little sneak peek of what's down below just by moving those. Hi, buds. I'm so happy you guys don't have bows. Thank God you were not smart enough for that technology. Okay, really? Are you just gonna go to the opposite side for me and just keep dodging me? That's kind of smart, won't lie. Kind of proud of you. Now I think the last enemies are here. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, uh, uh, uh. okay, that was crazy. Oh, the skeleton's sinking. Oh, okay, I'll take on this fight. Yeah, I like, the oh, it's because you have an anchor. Oh, is that why you're freaking out like that? Gotcha. Hey, that was a really good fight. I like that. Another man's treasure. Ooh, we just got a key. Ooh. So what were you hiding from me, huh? Oh my God, you were hiding a whole lot of men in there. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Ugh, I've been infected with pirate. Oh God. I feel like saying arg and I feel like owning a jar of dirt. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh my God, you guys go way too fast oh my god you look crazy like crazy as in like really cool bandana of ray well it does make me a little angry to have that okay can i check out the room now are, are you guys chill okay we're good now let me guess i need the key for this one yes well would you look at that i do have a key oh oh is it just gold, iron, and emeralds? Like, I'm not seeing anything else. I guess that's cool. And is it safe to go down? Kind of safe. Just need to get rid of you. God, hello. Can the door open? Okay, we're safe. Beautiful. <gasps> oh, you're actually not a bad find. Uh, we need to be very careful with what we take. Saying as, you know, we're almost full. Oh my God, so much fun. Oh, geez, I'm really happy I came back in here. Yeah, because I'm pretty positive I have potatoes, bamboo. I don't care for sweet berries at all. Yeah, we got everything else back at base. I think we have sugar canes, like we're fine. I guess we can take TNT, but I, I don't think I've ever actually used TNT on like any of my series in a very long time. So it's like, eh. All of this vegetation and you guys couldn't have one thing of kelp. Well, if we ever find any more pirate ships, I think we're definitely gonna go and take them on because that was some incredible loot. Wait, 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 why can I not see my base anymore? Wait, is that my base? all the way down there. Houston, we might have a problem. Yeah, yeah, I think that's my base. Okay, so we'll just start cutting it this way. Wait, 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 that might be a guardian temple. And never mind, that's just a regular hill. Okay, well, I figured, you know, if it was a guardian temple, we might get lucky with some kelp. Like, this is actually so bad that I can't find an A. Really, really bad. Uh, maybe wandering traders and sell me it, but that's... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. That's a sunken ship. I see it. It's really... I don't think you'll be able to spot it but i just saw it like right on the distance oh i am not taking my eyes off of it if there's any danger down there they're gonna have a very good time with me because i'm not noticing them okay it should be roughly right below me i also never knew that you can actually shift on a boat and you won't fall off it Alrighty, fingers crossed Hopefully no creeper fish or else I will be crying. No, no, because it looked like the mast of a sunken ship. Oh my God. I, I think it was actually coral. Oh crap. I don't have any doors. I thought I had doors. No, 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 no. This is going to hurt. Come on. I love this helmet. Please. No, 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 no. Oh my God. How did I do that? That's like the second time I've done that. I swear on my life. I saw a sunken ship off in the distance when I was sailing. Like there's no way that it was coral. I feel so cheated. Well, I guess what we do is that we just keep on focusing on the ocean floor as we head back to the house. Now, if you can tell me in the comments down below, I don't know if the wandering trader can sell kelp or maybe one of the villagers can. Maybe, maybe there's like a very specific one, like the Fisher Villager. I mean, it would make sense for it too, right? But back in my hardcore world, I don't remember ever seeing any of those villagers try to uh, sell me kelp. That's actually like, I keep talking about it. I'm really trying to not, but it's actually just super, super important for some of the machinery. And then that machinery is kind of 
dire. Like, I can't really use any of the stuff without it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just head out this direction. I'm not even noticing anything other than sand on the ocean floor, so maybe if we go this way, maybe we can get lucky, you know? Maybe we can actually spot some darker blocks down below, and then maybe, you know, somehow a sunken ship will spawn. But man, is this world just not looking forgiving. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think that's a destroyed nether portal. Oh my god, it is. <gasps> oh, we could actually get lucky. I just need to make sure that there's no creepers coming in on me. Please do not sneak up on my behind. Uh, oh, oh my god, we're safe. Oh, thank you for actually being patient and not coming after me like that. Oh my god, we actually just got saved. Okay, so we at least have some flint. So, you know, not all is lost. And we just need to find that one thing that I've been searching for this entire time. Ahoy, mateys. Ahoy. Let's see. Do you guys have anything good that I am searching for? Easiest way to fight them get them all so just go straight into the water beautiful beautiful and then what we'll do is we'll just go in through the back side again just enter right in through the rear unannounced just like how everyone enjoys it oh hello yep you're running over here to get hit right into the water beautiful jesus okay well very good is that uh the ghosts do not one shot you just found that out the hard way what no oh no they know i'm here oh they know i'm here hello <laughs> Oh god, did I handle that like such a man? I'm so cool. Oh my Jesus Christ. Ow. Ow. Why do one of you have a Rudy Tooty point and shooty? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. You almost just landed on my head. Hi. Dear God, can you not wait for me like that? Ow. God, stop. Jesus. Has anyone ever told you guys that there's just way too many of you? You know, you don't need that big of a crew. Technically, you guys are kind of losing out on a lot of loot by having so many of you. Ow. You know what? Here, you're not the only one that can shoot. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, bud? Aw, did you die? Aw. I'm a legend. Oh, my God. Okay, well, hey, would you look at that? These are slabs, so that's really cool. <laughs> And then speaking of cool, hey, what's up, homie? Right, I'm really sorry. I need your skull, okay? Thank you. Okay, we good in here? <gasps> oh my God, hello. Beautiful, wow. Uh, never mind. Pirate ships are the greatest things ever added to the game. Now, I can't tell if there's zombies near me or if they're just snoring, because it really could be either one. Hello, boys. I'm not going down there. Mm -mm, nope, I know there's a lot of you waiting for me. Uh-uh. <sighs> Please be safe. Actually, it doesn't even matter. I have a ton of them dying now, but I'm going to try my absolute greatest to never lose it. Woo. Okay, let's see. There should be one in here, right? I can't tell because its head is blocking the door. Okay, well, now the door doesn't want to open. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Please don't tell me it's always the same loot. I mean, it would probably be smart for me to take the potatoes and the carrots because then I could just give those to the villagers right off the bat. But at the same time, eh? At least we have a lot of golden carrots. I'll be really good for the nether. Well, Mr. Pirate Ship, you have been good to me. You little, you guys can't have my boat. Just because I steal yours doesn't mean that you can steal mine. Where's my base? I think that's it. Yep, dar, she blows. <laughs> wow, okay, the skeletons actually go out really far. Well, see you later, guys. Good luck. Not really. I hope you guys drown. But instead of wasting days searching for this one little item, maybe we'll get lucky or maybe there's another way to get it. Maybe some mob drops it. I don't know. But we'll just go for kelp later. What we're going to do now is just go to the nether and then we're going to search for some gravel, possibly some other stuff that we need to. Oh, I see. Now that I don't need poppies, that's when I start to get them. <laughs> I'm really hoping, unlike the 100 days on a deserted island, please work. Please, please don't crash. Okay. I was actually worried that the physics mod would have some issues with this place, but it looks like we're fine. And then, just so we never lose our portal, at least now we could roam around freely without any care in the world. And I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I didn't spawn here. We should relatively, like by my guess, actually be close to some kind of gravel. We really should should be collecting some of this stuff too. Gee, I really wish I could see. Like, I love the physics mod, but that's pretty rough. Also, this is unbearably dark. Okay, that should be good enough. Why, hello there, gorgeous. Yes. How you doing, beautiful? This is quite actually rough to mine with. It is incredibly hard to see if you broke the block right next to it, if you picked up the items that came from the block. Like, this is actually rough. Okay, that gas sound is actually creepy. Oh, and it's coming towards me. Okay. Please, gas, do not come to me. Pause. Ooh, not bad. 23. Oh, God. Please don't tell me that there's no gravel in the nether. Okay, maybe we make a tunnel because we are going to be needing a lot of gravel. 
at least for now, in the future, I can make an infinite gravel farm, which that's, oh God, it's gonna be so nice. Come here, Billy. Come on, Billy. Very nice. Your limp body. Please, uh, I just want some gravel. I wonder if we need to go that direction. Would make sense. Okay, you know what? I think I'm ready for some fall damage. Okay, I'm not too bad. I didn't take any of the golden carrots. Oh, that might become an issue. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus. Okay, I almost fell. Keep running, Josh. Keep running. That did not sound like a good kind of scream near me. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. It's actually some form of gravel. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I, I tried to do something with that, but no. Okay, I think we're safe. And hello, gorgeous. I really wish that I had some kind of silk touch, but oh well. Also, where's that gas? Hi. Yeah, I need you to come just a little bit closer. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on here. You want an arrow, don't you? Okay, wow. Uh, oh, no. Here's some more. Dude, this actually takes so much longer to mine anything. This is actually so annoying. And while we're here, we probably should be collecting some of these magma blocks. Oh, that's a bastion. Ooh. Uh, do I have it in me to go check it out right now? Ah, uh, maybe? Like, it might have some pretty decent loot for us. Plus, it would be a kind of a fun adventure. I just need a whole lot of blocks to go do it. You're kidding. Even the fire has physics once you destroy it. <laughs> okay, so seeing this entire place and how many gas actually spawn in. So cute. I love you. We might actually just want to go around this entire lava lake and then go to the bastion. Hello, hey, governor. I'm what are we going to go to your bastion? And wee, man. <laughs> it looks like he's having so much fun. Like, wee. Okay, so we definitely can't go to the left. Oh, wait. Hi. Hi. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get a whole lot of cooked food. Hey! Oh, God. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting you to be smart and juke me. Okay, beautiful. Because we were getting a little bit low on bread, but, you know, I didn't want to use bread in this place. Because this will surprise you, but bread really isn't good for healing. Dude, I don't think I'm ever going to collect any mobs. Oh, nice. Yeah, we actually don't even need to cross anything. We can just go straight to it. Yes, yes, beautiful. As long as nothing comes behind me. Oh, Lucy, give me five seconds for all this to clear. Oh, Lucy, I'm home. I can't tell how unsafe I am. Oh my God. Hi, hi, hi. That's a brute. That's a brute. That right there. Yep, that's a bad enemy. That's a really painful enemy. Hi. That's another no-no. That's a big no-no. Okay. Uh, dear God. I think I made it safe for me. You guys can't get up here, right? Well, uh, don't mind me, princesses. I'm gonna be stealing your gold. Hee hee hee. Hi. Yeah? Yeah, you wanna go into the pit, huh? Yeah, you like going into holes like that? Nice and safe. Nobody wants to hurt us. You're still not the source? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Bad touch. Bad touch. Bad touch. Oh my god. Please don't mind me. Hello. Ooh, and some soul speed. Yes, please. Oh, hello. <gasps> Wait, actually. Yes, here. You'll make me safe. We only need to worry about the brutes now, but at least this way we're safe. We're friends. We're friends. You're not a friend. You are not a friend. I'm pretty sure if I hit the brute, the others get mad. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. I don't know if I have it in me to go through the rest of this tower. But we must continue because we did not come here for loot. We can here for that there gravel. Is this obsidian? Oh, Scorchia. Just gonna assume that I'm probably gonna need you for that mod later on. Oh, hi, pal. Now, if I were gravel, where would I be? Because I mean, me personally, my first answer would be the nether, so. Oh, no way. Oh, yes, finally. It's a goblin trader. With, you know, some interesting traits. Ah, cool. There's some gravel in a super hard to reach area. Yep, I'm not that desperate yet. Oh, hello. You're an easy to grab one. Hi, oh, beautiful. Oh, thank God. I made it so much better. Watch this. Ah, uh, instantly it just goes away instead of just staying there. It actually makes playing this so much more bearable. But now we can actually play and mine stuff a whole lot faster so I don't have to spend so much time in here. Yes. Okay. At least now I can bring back a nice little bucket of lava. Please, I want more ender pearls because it might actually be possible for me to go to the end. Hi. If you guys can actually just teleport around, you know, just pick up some gravel and then just drop it to me, that'd be nice. Ooh. Finally. Okay, we got a third pearl. We're making progress. Now, if I were to make like an eye of ender and I threw it and then, you know, it didn't go anywhere because there's no stronghold in my world, would you guys be mad if I were to just give myself the end portal blocks so we can actually go to the end? 
and you know get an elytra in this world and to make an intermittent xp farm and to defeat the dragon like would you guys be against that or would that be cool my word i'm literally flying that's cool god it's so hard to tell where the vine actually is how how did that hurt i mean like i guess this can work we might be able to get like a decent amount over here yes oh my god there's actually so much here oh i am definitely going to be dropping a lot of stuff for more gravel with how rare this is now for the bad thing man my final piece of bread thank goodness i have nine cooked pork chops i really wish i could find more of those hog ones oh my god i hate you oh, okay i hate you more okay yep this is unbearably loud and none of the shots are hitting there we go i love you gunpowder but yeah nope i'd much rather have some gravel and we might might actually have to leave relatively soon i mean i'll mark this down on my mini map so we can come back here because this seems like the only place for a couple hundred million miles that actually has gravel i just want to get as much gravel as humanly possible so we can make a whole lot of dirt it's gonna be really expensive to get to that point where we can make it but i can make a machine that makes cobblestone makes gravel and sand all by itself we need a metric ton of that stuff i think we're all good i've gathered up as much as i could and now to just head back home oh water oh my goodness amazing Woo! the flippers were drying out there if it doesn't spawn in this movie if you can tell me if you know if this will actually spawn in a beehive that'd be wonderful greatly appreciated and lighter news at least with the blocks disappearing a lot faster like that we might actually be able to keep the physics mod for a lot longer now again i'll treat it like a democracy i'll see what you say we'll just take this dirt because you're already grown same with you and this brings me back to the days of one block would you like that series to return by the way i have an idea for it and then just so we don't destroy our diamond shovel let's just make a lot of iron ones but you know it might be easier just to make a hoe but i think this and a hoe has the same durability but this just takes one less iron which again iron really isn't anything for us i should really build a very large area so i can do this <laughs> it would make it a bit easier but before we get too far into this at least now we can actually just fill this in so just to save on shovel durability even though again it really doesn't matter boom we place all of these down and then i believe this is tilling the ground i'm not sure what it is or maybe making it like compacted dirt who knows but then instead of having to uh mine it all up boom we just put this right on top exact same thing to this one and then boom right below it wow we it turns right back into regular dirt amazing so creating all this dirt and digging it up is really starting to make me realize just how much i'm actually creating and five iron shovels is actually not going to be enough to actually do it all i thought i made more than enough and this really makes me miss my maxed out netherite tools and then just in case if you're wondering i am trying to tend to the other stuff as well while i make all the dirt just so we can keep on maximizing profits with all resources oh there goes the diamond axe that sucks and then i do have diamonds but I honestly think I'd rather just kind of hold on to those. We could start surrounding the trees with poppies. You know, that is a possibility now. Maybe that's why it's not growing. Ooh, okay, and done. Finally, changed all of that into dirt and we have a tremendous amount, but that's a really good thing that we do because I do want to make a lot of farms and, you know, we'll use it for decoration if I could figure out how to make grass. I don't think there's any way to craft it or any way to, like, find it in a chest or something. I can finally start placing down some bamboo. Beautiful. Okay, all the bamboos planted. We can now start farming in a whole lot of sticks. And now I think we're ready to finally begin on the villagers trading spot, of which I have absolutely no idea where I should build that. We could probably just start branching on this direction. Hello? Wait, hi. And then I want to see if this actually works. If I just surround them with poppies and then now every single one of the saplings has flowers, yeah, hopefully this increases my chances of getting beehives i mean i did it in the last raft area but if we're going to be building a villager area without any honey i think having them one slab lower so i believe five slabs on every single side and then we just go super duper far this should be enough for all of the villagers that we want you know maybe we have just librarians on this side and then we have all of our regular traits on this side who knows now don't mind me i'm gonna go use about a half a metric ton of wood to make this beautiful platform ta-da I'm now realizing that the bigger that I make this entire base, the more annoying it's going to be to tear it all down. 
because I don't know if I want to leave up any of this stuff once we actually start building down below because I might just migrate from the surface to the water. But I don't know. I think I'm down, you know, to see what you guys want to see as well. Like, should I have a beautiful base up top and down below in the water? Or should I only have a beautiful base in the water? Like, regardless, I'm building in the water. I'm not just going to be building up top like last time. It seems like yet again, no beehive. I'm not going to give up hope. I do strongly believe that you can get a beehive this way. But, or was it with oak? Was it oak or was it birch? I thought it was birch. Okay, now we can actually see if this will grow the beehive. If I'm wrong, the Meg's fired. So, don't worry, you know, we're basically okay. Now, speaking of important stuff, so I kind of want to make this place look a little bit beautiful for them at least. Since we don't have honey, but I think what we need to do is first we'll create like a nice little staircase for ourselves going up. Maybe something like this. The villager will be standing here. So that's a full block. And then what we can do is just put down like some logs or something just to make it look all nice and pretty. We could slap down a torch right there. And then they stand in here and then they can't like they'll probably just keep jumping like this which is totally fine but then we put their job block right here and i think this will do like the exact same thing as honey it's just you know it's not as pretty we can't have it as low but oh god i forgot what it was called oh it's electron i told you meg how did you forget that it's such an easy word okay so we might as well just go through make as many as we can right now that's all of our books we'll just put you like that beautiful okay so we just dropped the villagers right into there we can keep on refreshing their trades beautiful blah 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 Block. Okay, perfect. I think we're entirely ready and we might actually have enough villagers to just completely fill up all of those. What? Oh, whoops. Made that mistake before. Had quite a few comments saying that, oh, you need to have both hands free and Intos also wouldn't shut up about it. Love them. Boop. There we go. Beautiful. How you doing, homie? Oh my god. Okay, we're starting off strong. We don't even need to make a cut for that whatsoever. That was... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. I swore my life I had more than eight. No, 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 no. That can't be right. That can't be right. <gasps> oh my god, thank god. Okay, we have 64. Oh god. I was actually going to start panicking because I don't I don't know if I would have been able to actually, you know, acquire this fast enough before that refreshes. But hello, beautiful. Thank you. You're now stuck. Okay, beautiful. And we don't need to worry about the trades being too expensive or anything like that. Truly, it doesn't matter. We'll just have a lot of stick trades and maybe some iron trades and we'll just have unlimited emeralds also i like how i now have a travel buddy for whenever we go places like i'm not removing this cat ever he's staying there forever we'll always have a little travel buddy <gasps> wait oh i wonder if he'll actually keep away the creeper fish all righty who's ready to go into a purgatory of never moving and always selling me stuff where are you going no 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 no. you won't get to choose your job i choose it for you all righty please be kind like him and first try right for the love of god do not tell me i need to go and start breaking some random things around my base now because you wanted to get a different job please ah uh, it is this fine whatever it wasn't dude just take the block in front of you all right here let's do a fast fix what did you want you son of a i want to kill you so badly oh my god wait i Again, right off the bat. I mean, like, this one isn't important to get, like, immediately, but pff, okay. Let's hopefully continue this spree. Whoop, there we go. Quickly pick you back up before you can go back to a ghost composter that you still haven't given up. Oh, it's like I'm carrying around my son <laughs> that I don't have. I don't think I care for this. Like, I, I think I'm actually fine to remove you. So, wow, first one. Oh my god, that's right. I can actually just pick it up and place it right back down. Oh, <gasps> sweet. Oh, that's actually so much faster than using an axe on that. Oh, okay. I love this. I love the carry-on mod. I guess you're good because I do want to put flame on my bow and we can have, you know, a nice paper trade. That actually reminds me, I should really put down some sugar cane. <gasps> Oh my god, you finally changed. Hello, welcome to the club. Okay, we'll do you first, and then we'll go make the sugar cane. Also, if you know anything about the create mod, can you tell me if the potato recovery enchantment, is that actually good or something that I need? Like that? Like, is this actually important? Okay, but this is awkward. I don't want to buy the book right now, but I do want Thorns 3. Do I even have enough to get 24 paper? And then before we get back to the fun, so let's see. I think, honestly, we could just be like really simple with it, and what we could do is just go like, boop just like that okay beautiful at least it makes the tree area look a little bit prettier now while those grow we do need to worry about actually making emeralds now as we're like slowly chipping away at them you know like it's not dire right now but uh it wants to be poor so we're just gonna copy these exact same designs over okay i believe that's how yep fletching table perfect okay beautiful right off the bat both of the things that i really wanted oh wow would you look at that i have sticks ready for you thank you okay pleasure 
doing business, bud. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, boop. Focus on capitalism right now, okay? Stop focusing on love. Did you just shake your head no at me? I don't know why you're wanting a stare down with me. I will win. Why are you so defiant? I'm trying to give you money. I could put you to the bottom of the ocean if you want. You just drown. We, we can go that route. I really don't mind. Here, have a taste of it, huh? Yeah, you like that? Yeah, you like some seawater? Okay, wait, I can't reach you. Can you jump up? Thank you. Nice, some free iron over there. Thanks, bud. You're amazing. What is with you guys? Just take the blocks in front of you. Fine, I'll go get a third. Thank you, love you. Oh, I love you even more now. And perfect, because I did actually need some iron so that I can make an iron sword so I can go and collect my bamboo. So thoughtful. So I got a super strong feeling that this is not going to be a big enough bamboo farm for the amount of emeralds that we're gonna be needing. But let's just have our fingers crossed. Eh, we'll take it, why not? Regardless, it doesn't really matter. Both of those items become very obsolete later on for us. Did you just refresh your trades because I just said eh to you? You actually did. Wow. Thank you for having a change of heart. Oh, it was really nice working with you. Okay, so I think I have every single one of them actually locked into sticks, which beautiful. And yep, that went really fast and we didn't really get that much. <gasps> Ooh, also, at least now, I can actually get some XP from these guys. It doesn't look like we're getting any luck here with oak, but we're just gonna keep trying it out with this kind of a setup. And now, we come to a really big problem, which I don't know the fastest way to do this. We only got two more villagers in here. Here's some bread, you know, you guys should be able to do some work with that one. Now, I don't really have any food. I mean, I do have the golden carrots, but I really don't want to eat those while I'm just around here on my raft, completely safe. Like, these are really good for when we're actually fighting things, you know? Like, I don't mind actually making these farms and then just tending to them myself. I'm just worried about it in the long run on how many days that's going to be taking taking up as like time goes on, you know? That is a lot of sharks. But honestly, I think we're just gonna need to bite the bullet. Maybe we actually make them automated with some of the villagers so that they can, you know, just tend to all the potatoes and carrots themselves, which might be fastest. Oh, would you look at that? I'm actually replanting it instead of just wasting all of the seeds for bone meal. Are you proud of me, Meg? I knew you were. Okay, beautiful. 25 more bread. That's completely done. You guys produced a cat. Very nice. Okay, interesting. Just please don't give this to the child, please. Like, you, you don't need to feed the child, please. I I need you guys to feed each other, you know, make more of them so I can get a bigger army. Will you pick up the bread? I just made it, okay? It's all fresh. Can I pick you up? Man, imagine if I could. Oh, please don't be thunder. Now, just for spacing, I eh, won't put it over here. Why not? And then I'm just gonna try my absolute best to not use up too much of my dirt because we are starting to get really low. Beautiful. So I tried to make all of the edges out of the, you know, the slabs wide enough so that whenever I break the crops, it won't fall into the ocean. I want to avoid that as much as possible. But now we can actually start planting. And then this should hopefully fix all of our food issues. Okay, perfect. I might actually have some bone meal so we can actually jumpstart everything if I'm lucky enough. Oh, cool. I have six. Wow, we can make so much. Wow. Okay. Whoop. We got two. But eh, at least it's almost completely full. But now that's just a waiting game. And I guess now we can actually start maybe trying to find. Can I help you? Can you let my tree grow? Thank you very much. Right. Actually, you're going to the ocean. You can go fight some fish. Have fun with the sharks. All right, here's a love tap. Mwah. I, I think he's happy with me. I don't see him being angry whatsoever. So I think the first best option to do since, you know, we can probably find it. We'll just be going down here seeing if we can find any kind of andesite. It's just really rough because I think I can go down maybe eight blocks before the pressure starts to very severely hurt me. What is that? Oh, that's the iron golem. <laughs> I was so curious what that was. Okay, nice, nice. Um, yeah, I just remembered, you know, he's. I'm hoping he's not a little mad at me after I tickled him a bit. But anyways, so we might just need to pick a spot, which honestly, we might just want to start up here. We need to shave down. I didn't bring any doors. Every single time. Okay, as I was saying, it might be really wise. I mean, we can get sand as well from this, so we'll just go layer by layer, and then we'll just see if we can actually hit an andesite pocket, because, I mean, usually we do, I think. Oh my god, it is so dark. That's gravel! <gasps> no way! Okay, so maybe the ocean isn't completely empty. Maybe we can actually find some nice stuff. So I'm definitely collecting all of this. Yes, we can actually make more dirt. I should probably go mining with glowstone because I do have silk touch now. So we could just put down some glowstone and then we can actually see underwater because this is a bit rough. 
Oh, lights. Oh my goodness, I can actually see. Oh, this might also be a really good spot just to see if we could find some andesite. So we can just go caving now. Yeah. Thank you, Gravel. You are amazing. Okay, is this going to be the point at which I find out that andesite only spawns in at a certain depth? Starting to get that vibe. I, I'm starting to think it doesn't spawn this high up. Oh, okay, wait, wait. So this is actually really, really sick. Please don't come over here. Okay, so a really cool thing is, so we're going to continue just for today, just mining out, just seeing if we can find some andesite. Because apparently you can craft it, which I won't lie, I've never once done that in my entire life of playing. So if we don't find it, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's actually really cool. Plus, the reason why I'm okay with, you know, mining more cobblestone for today is because I actually need it for the recipe to make andesite if we don't find it. Okay, so no luck, but we did manage to get a lot of cobblestone, so... <laughs> And we're gonna go do something really cool. Okay, so for the fun way of us to actually get some andesite, first, we need to actually go around in the nether and we need to collect a lot of nether quartz. Something that I, oh, hello. Something that I probably should have been doing back when I was first in here looking for some gravel, but you know, I didn't, you know, exactly plan this out whatsoever, just like everything else I do. I am the greatest winger alive. Okay, so a little birdie told me, Google, that if you combine nether quartz with some cobblestone, oh my God, that actually works. Oh, you actually get diorite. And then once you have some diorite, if you just go and put in some diorite and cobblestone. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Apparently it's cheaper. Apparently it's just, you know, that kind of diorite and then that. Oh, oh, wait, that you get so much for doing that. Okay, okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, pfft, I was expecting that to be a lot, lot harder. And then I am pretty sure that I can actually automate this in the future just to automatically get a lot of andesite. I'm not too positive on that. But yes, so we're going to be going around here. Luckily, this is so much easier to find than some gravel. <gasps> just like that. Yeah, no, we're going to get a ton of this because, you know, we're going to need a whole lot of it for the machine, which I'm already going to assume that like a lot of you already know what the machines are. I just want to, you know, keep it hopefully as a surprise for everyone else who like doesn't know what I'm talking about. Just like how these Endermen really want to feel me right now as they go and feel some lava. But at the very least, it seems like they're totally down just to go for a lovely little stroll. They don't want to touch me whatsoever as I get really slow on those vines. Woo! I'm better than you, buddy. Oh my God. I did not realize that I came to the most dangerous place with no food. And oh my God, I am so close to that. Where's the second one? There's no way it died by touching that lava. That feels a little bit too good to be true. Okay, wait, wait, we need to go right back to our portal. We need to head home, but we can't do it without food. And oh, hey, would you look at that? I still have my golden carrots. Hello, beautiful. Hi, bud. You wouldn't happen to sell any and a cider. Help, huh? Nope, identical stuff. Oh, sharpness seven on breaking seven for five dragon heads and a diamond sword. So what you're telling me is that we really need to get into the end. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely amazing. Okay, so I can become a literal god. And then I'm sure that you guys won't like this, but I love it how I can actually buy totems of undying from him. I really wish I could take you home, but you know, I know I can't. Oh, Billy, I hear you. Are you the one that was chasing me, trying to clap my cheeks and then disappeared in lava? Well, anyways, in case you are, don't care. Hello, beautiful. Now, ideally, we probably shouldn't be collecting too many of these until I get fortune. Also, uh, we need to get back home kind of fast, like at least within a day or two, just because of all the crops. Oh. <gasps> Speaking of crops, oh, I can chop down a lot of these trees because if I am not mistaken, this is the best like a uh, block to a bone meal conversion in the composter, you know, so we might we might actually want to collect a ton of these. But the downside is that my iron axe is almost destroyed because, you know, I wasn't exactly planning on doing that. Okay, wait, wait, we need at least one more nether quartz. I don't want to have one extra. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh boy. Uh -huh. God, there's so much in here. I love it. Dang it. I need one more again. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow, look at the amount of glowstone over there. Dude, if I ever get the ability to fly, oh man, I am going to love this nether. I would love to take you, but uh, at the same time, I don't want to keep searching around for more nether quartz. So whoopsies, gotta leave. Oh, Billy, how you doing, bud? How was lava? Oh, oh, you got a girlfriend. That's cool. I'm proud of you, homie. Boing. Okay, I'm sorry. Apologies. I shouldn't have done that. That was very disrespectful. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow, that actually worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Billy, wait, wait, come back. <laughs> 
<laughs> I want to see you run off the edge again, please. I actually didn't know that this was a thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Oh, you're right there. Okay, that's awkward. Wait, sorry. No, please don't make the noises, please. Oh my god, you're so loud. Okay, there you go. Uh, run from the noise. Uh, volume. Ears breaking. Oh, <sighs> so nice and quiet. Okay. Yeah, no, we actually have to do that. Yeah, we're gonna go and collect a lot of uh, nether wart stuff or wart psyllium? Something like that. Okay, now if we go boom, boom, bop, bing, and then put you in there like that. And wow, we now have two stacks of it. I'm going to save that for just a little bit. Okay, dorm. We're going to get right into that. Okay, it's probably overkill, but let's make six. And then let's go absolutely wild bonkers. Well, we would have been going wild bonkers, but never mind. Wait, wait, wait. There's a way around this. Yes. I wonder if there's a way to remove that limit. Because 100 is, it's honestly not not that much for trees oh and then a nice byproduct of chopping down all these trees is i can turn all of the logs into sticks you know not to make any of you you know sad but i kind of don't care to build with this block i mean it might look nice in some of the underwater areas this is actually killing me oh my gosh i want to knock this down so badly yes yes i'm knocking down the monster okay beautiful i think i gathered a little bit you know to actually start up our farms and you know, hopefully get a lot of food going so i, I think we're good to head back home okay well that's gonna take a hot minute so we'll just let that run in the meantime let's go and make a metric ton of emeralds hello there yep and then i guess if we ever need a lot of emeralds or i don't know xp or something we just go back into the nether collect a whole lot of those trees and then there we go and then at least we get some lights so I, I think i'll try and actually build with these instead of just glowstone oh yeah this is already working amazing here we might as well just go use these and uh, once again new beehive oh maybe these need to be grass would you be okay if i you know magically somehow got grass i mean you can give me a challenge or like a crafting recipe or like certain amount of items you know and then i just do that and then boop i get one little block of grass i'm totally down for that i'm really hoping you guys don't grab this one okay but hey i hope that you guys do grab this one beautiful not the child no oh <gasps> oh my god you spawn here wait 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 pause 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 i actually wouldn't mind lily pads i'm not gonna lie <gasps> Ooh, dandelions as well maybe i maybe it has to be something other than a poppy well, let's actually buy some stuff i'm down for once in my life i'm actually gonna use this guy for his intended purpose how many can i buy from him not a lot only 10 okay, how about these 12 well, at the very least, thank you very much for bringing me some leather and some lead. So that's really cool. And then don't worry, I'm kind. You can go hang out with your cousins. There you go. Look, everyone, it's a new one. Okay, so I want to test this theory out. We're going to swap out two of the poppies on each tree with some dandelions. And let's just replant these. Holy. Oh my God, we have over a stat. It's not even done. Oh yeah, we're going to be doing that a lot. Wait, oh, maybe I need to use bone meal. No. Doll soap, no. And looking like a no. Okay. So no, don't waste bone meal on it. So it's, oops, beautiful. Okay, both farms are completely grown and full. And I'm hoping I actually have more than just one potato. Okay, beautiful. We got like a stack and almost two. Now, if my memory is not mistaken, I actually don't think it matters if the kid picks up the food because then like once they grow up into an adult they still have the food and then you know blah 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 everything keeps going just don't think about it too much okay okay now while we wait for everything in here to you know just keep cooking like that i have an issue where for whatever reason my too many items mod is just not working so the next part I i'm very sad to say this i actually don't know all of the recipes by heart all i remember is that the andesite is very important and i think we need iron i just don't remember in which way i'm supposed to combine them I'm pretty sure it was like andesite and then we just need some iron nuggets. Then you go like boom, boom, bop, bing. And oh my God, I am so smart. How do I do it every time? That's literally what Meg says to me every single day. She's like, oh my, how do you do it? You're just so smart. And I'm just, honestly, I think I'm just born with it. But don't worry. I have absolutely no idea what to do next. <laughs> I, I actually really do need too many items mod. I, I don't know why it's not working and that does worry me a bit. So, very funny story. Uh, apparently, Meg just forgot to install it. Not me, but it was her. But um, yeah, apparently that mod was just completely forgotten. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, so now that we actually have this, we can start getting into the fun stuff like this mechanical drill, which we actually really do need. Like an andesite case, huh? No, wait, do I actually? How do you craft it? I, th there's no way. That's not how I made it back in the Lost at Sea episode. Did they change the crafting? Okay, wait, that actually complicates things then. Do I have a different version of the create mod? I don't remember it being anywhere near like that. Unless they changed? No, wait, because I was 
point on 1.16. Okay, so the issue that I'm having right now is that I believe the crafting has actually changed from 1.16 all the way to 1.19. I have no idea how to make this very simple thing that is incredible. It's needed in like every single thing of created almost. Like it's very important. Is this seriously the only way to make it? Like I feel like surely no. So if I just have it like this and I do that. There we go. Okay. Oh my God, dude. Oh my goodness. That makes it so much. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, it worked. Oh, please go into the beehive, please. If they all go into the beehive, oh, I can actually break it with the slow touch. Oh, please, 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 please. Come on, little one. Yes, no. Okay, you're baiting me. Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I know exactly what you're doing. No, uh-uh. Go into there. You're not leaving this place, bud, okay? You don't have a choice. No, no, please take your time. Please work? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. That's insane. So that's amazing. We'll definitely be working with these beauties soon. Okay, that's actually not that bad. We want to get the wrench because the wrench will allow me to rotate a lot of the machines, a lot of the blocks. I can pick up the blocks with one hit from it. So I save out on all of my tools, which would be really nice. We should probably make the press first and instead oh that's so cheap oh yeah no we're definitely making that oh okay beautiful so yeah we're gonna make the press first and then we'll go and make the drill and then we're gonna automate getting a whole lot of cobblestone and then we go bob boop and then there we go wow this stuff is so weirdly cheap okay so now i think we can actually just smack you right there and then we just want to put the crank onto the machine like that which now whenever we turn it you know it'll go down first we want some gold which oh we'll do 10 because as i crank this not non-stop you know it's boop bonk it's just gonna start turning this into flattened uh, gold sheets or it's called like gold sheets something like that but if you pay attention to my hunger this isn't sped up whatsoever this is the actual speed that I go down in hunger whenever I like manually run a machine. So we're gonna wanna do the absolute bare minimum on stuff until we make some water wheels and we actually uh, can just sit back and have our machines do work. Okay, so then we just make a cog wheel, which wow, that's even cheaper. Okay, beautiful. And then we just go boop and then we have the beautiful wrench, amazing. Okay, so now we can just move around everything. We are moving at light speed. This is actually insane. Ooh, next up, we're definitely gonna wanna make some goggles. Does that have to be connected? Oh, okay, it's just any glass that, that easy mode. Okay, so we got the glass. Boom, ba, bing. Okay, now when I wear this, very sadly, actually, wait, can I put you on there and like this still works? Oh my God, it still works. Oh, yes, dude, I don't need to take off my helmet. Oh my God, this is so cool. I can have the goggles on with my helmet. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. And then you probably already saw, I can put on a backpack, but I also believe that I can put on an elytra with the chest plate but i i don't know yet i i kind of forgot if i have that mod or not okay now the next thing that we're going to be working towards is a water wheel which like i would love to use a large water wheel but actually wait i never knew it was that much cheaper okay and it goes out like what four times three times four times the rpm okay yeah we're gonna make that then never mind wait we can actually make that right now boop and then we're just gonna go boop amazing and then so i'll just place it because oh my god dude that looks so cool dude even just for decoration imagine if we were building like a ship and we just have this on the side of it you know we make it look like a like a cool like a steam fairy you know and now with the wrench, I think if I just do like, what? oh my God, oh my God, what? Minecraft has run out of memory? No, please load. Please don't tell me I just lost my world, please, please. Oh no. If I just lost my world, then uh, we're kind of in trouble because I didn't make any saves yet because I only make world saves after I complete 100 days. Uh, this might get interesting. Oh my God, we very luckily got the world back. So I don't know if that happened because I used the wrench, which I could try right Right now but i'm really scared to i don't know if it was just the large water wheel which which now at this point i don't know if i want to use this if it's you know possible to destroy my world very likely i just had to close the game and just reopen it and blah 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 it all worked uh let's test it out i probably should make a world save before doing this but at the same time Oh, yeah, I got him right there. Okay, yeah, so it it's literally just the water wheel. I, I, God, I don't know if I want to use this. I, I actually think I just want to toss this. I think it's fair that if I were to toss this, that I give myself back a regular water wheel. I don't care about the wood that went around the water wheel, but if this is destroying my world and it's possible for it to get corrupted, I think that's pretty fair to say goodbye to you and then saying hello to you. So, I mean, it's a lot weaker. Oh, well, you know, at least our world will work. Work. <laughs> 
which we'll just make four of them. I think this will be more than enough power and what we'll need. And then uh, let's see, where do we want to build this? Because we keep building that direction. I tend to always do that. Or I pick one direction and then I just keep on going that way. Yeah, I think it's just because like you light up my life like nobody else. Something, something, something. I don't know the rest of their songs. I'm sorry. <laughs> And now for the special area. Ooh, right here. Beautiful spot. Yes, yeah. And then I think an 18 by 24 area for the machine should be good enough because uh, I don't think we need that many off the, off the top of my head, you know? Because a lot of them that we're going to be making right now is strictly just to start our underwater base. Which I just want to say, at least for the first 100 days movie, we're really not making bad progress whatsoever on getting like enchantments, you know, and setting up the base farms going. I want to say that we're relatively close to the progress that we made by like, what, 400 days, 500 days? on our previous raft area. So I don't really think that we lost like anything at all. Ta-da! Our beautiful area to build all of the machines that we want. Oh my God, that is so tiny. Huh? It's a little baby. Wait, that's the size of the water wheel? Oh, this is completely different from 1.16. Oh, that is... Okay, we might be using all these wheels just for the little tiny cobblestone machine. That's incredible. It's like the size of Meg. It's just so little. Now, first order of business is that we need to encase this entire thing. I, I guess you can say in an aquarium. Like, I, I don't really know what to call it, you know, but also need to bring it up just one more. Okay. And I think this is built in a way that this will give us the maximum amount of speed on it. Or yeah, yeah, I think like the maximum amount of speed and then boop out of here. We just stick like one of these bad boys bloop and then we can start making the machine. I'm trying to think of how to do this in like the most efficient way possible. So I'm also just just trying to be fast. <laughs> okay, so first let's see how many of you, oh. <laughs> Okay, perfect. God, we, we do need cobblestone, but I don't know. I think just to save on the andesite alloy because we do need this for more stuff and I really just don't want to have to keep going back into the nether. So I think we're just gonna do two. It's gonna be really slow, but oh well. We'll manage. It's not gonna be bad. We just need Meg to be patient. So you know, that might be really difficult. I grabbed every single piece that we probably need for this machine just off the top of my head. I can be wrong. I guess that's actually not bad. Wait, maybe... Maybe these wheels actually give off the same amount of power as the wheels from 1.16. They only look tinier. Like maybe it's just visually different, you know? I think we're all good. I didn't even check to see if it was facing the right direction because unless they changed it, the wheels do have like a forward and a backwards motion. But I think just by looking at that, I think think we have it correct? I'll be surprised if we don't, but anyways, it looks like it's working. And then that's turning, very beautiful. So now we're gonna make sure that this at least goes fast. So what we wanna do is we wanna put a cog wheel there that leads straight into a tiny one because that'll go even faster, which will then go up and then straight back down. Wait, am I going crazy or is that the same exact speed? No, no, the left. Okay, if you point your eyes over to the left one, I think that's actually faster than the right one. Meg, can you do some magic right here? And then just crop it so we can see both of the wheels at the same time right next to each other, you know, and like zoomed in. I'm pretty sure the left one's actually faster. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going crazy just yet. I don't hear the voices. Okay, so then, oh wait, no, we don't even need any shafts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I forgot about a very important one. Not the cat that looks like my cat boots, sort of. Actually, no, you're missing some white on your paws and on your stomach. We just need some gear boxes, which these bad boys, they're basically like shafts. It's just they go in three other directions as well. Oh, technically just two other directions. Never mind. Ignore that part. But if you slap you there and then you there, they go different directions. But from what I've learned is that it literally doesn't matter whatsoever. It's just as long as these are actually turning, that's all that matters. So very perfect. Our machine quite literally is almost entirely done. As you now, we have to make it look very pretty. See, like, it's not the worst or speed. You yeah, know, like it's not bad. I tried making it as fast as it would go without this one other block. I, I think it's called like a gear shift or like a gear something, you know? So for this block right here, we need this to be water. And I think just so that lava doesn't come over here and turn this into stone, because you know, there's just so much like limited water around here. It's very hard for me to get it. We have this go forward a little bit, boom. It's right into here. Cause this is an air block right now, which is good. And then up top. Okay, so I'm trying to think of how to do this correctly without breaking anything okay so that's the water part and then we need lava to go through this part so this is actually the lava so then like that and also we can't forget about torches i've already had issues in previous worlds with mobs spawning on top of these things yeah really not fun 
don't recommend it. I think this is all good. Uh, let's see. How should, which one should we do first? Let's just completely set it up. So how to do this? Actually here, you go there and then we'll just have you go down and then you go not there. And then you go into that one. Perfect. Okay. So then this will collect all of the blocks and very luckily I forgot to put the chest away. So now we'll actually have some chests going this direction and then boom, all of our cobblestone will be going right into there. Perfect. So now we don't have to worry about water or lava just going off into our base and destroying anything or, you know, removing any torches. And then I think what we need to do is put down the water first. Go. Beautiful. Water's completely done. Oh, am I going to have the same issue with lava? Lava. You go there, boop, cover you up, and then very hopefully none of the sparks get out of that machine at all and then light up our entire platform. Again, I'm just gonna be keeping a close eye on the- What? Huh? Wait, Meg, what did you do? Wait, did I actually just put this one block too high? Meg, why did you tell me to put it up there? So, this is lava? No. That? No. I can't be lava. I'm scared to touch that because I think that will kill me. So, I guess the water goes down here. Here? I like how I've done everything like pretty much perfectly on the first try, but then once I try to make the world's easiest thing ever, a cobblestone generator, that's when things get too confusing for me. Like I really know how to pick and choose my battles. Okay, so then let me see. This needs to be lava, huh? Please work. Yes. How is the left side faster than the right? So each gearbox actually slows it down a little bit, which is really interesting because I, I don't think it's the direction. So this super gorgeous, beautiful looking machine. I know, please hold the applause. We're now making cobblestone at a fairly decent rate. Like that's really not that bad because you know, we can just go do whatever else we want. And then wow, we come back. Oh my gosh, we have so much cobblestone. Amazing. These are going the same way. What if I do this? I think that's faster. Yeah, like no matter what, I can't have one there. I wish. If you can tell me in the comments, like, do you know if this is actually like a faster way to do it or do I just do it in like a really bizarre way. Please do not be thunder, please. Okay, so we're just gonna let this go for a little bit. We'll just see, we'll see how long it takes to fill up that entire double chest. But next up, I think I might actually just look on Google for this one because I just have no idea if it's even possible, but I swear I can make an andesite farm. Because if we could do that, that, that's gonna be phenomenal. And also we should really try and automate these now that I can make machinery. Oh gosh, we also need to make the, the, the bee building. Uh, let's do that one first, just because that one's so much easier easier. And then for the bees, I think we're just going to spoil them. For once, I'm actually just going to use some spruce. Oh, and then we really need some dirt for them. And then I think it's only appropriate to build the beehive over here, like right next to the villagers, just because, you know, they're working hand in hand. Ta-da! Would you look at this beautiful area for some future bees? So I think we'll build it in a kind of a weird way this time. I think we'll just start with the ground first. Oh god, that actually took up all of the dirt that I brought. Uh, okay, we might attempt to just make the gravel machine and like the the glass machine this movie or at least start it now for whatever reason i think i'm just gonna make this building actually look uh you know kind of beautiful yeah we'll just go with one doorway so here we'll just have it like right over here why not so i think this is looking fancy so far i would call this done <laughs> so this is why i really want grass because it would just make this look so much nicer okay i think the layout of this is honestly like pretty decent i'm mainly just trying to use up all of this stuff just because i have so much logs not even wood just logs Logs everywhere. Th this is the tough part because I really want to use glass for all of that. It's just we kind of can't right now. Oh, yeah, I only got 20. I mean, I do got sand. But here, we'll just start cooking up all of that. We're going to go and just use up some of this glass and we'll just finish up the rest of the building, hopefully completing it today. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. And then don't worry, this is not going to stay at all. I'm just really lazy and I don't want to fix the mods right now because I have to swap over some mods so that this actually works because I do have a connected glass mod on here here. It's just one of the other mods that I'm using is conflicting with it. Lisa, I need glass. Oh wait, I just realized it's not even a waste for me to use glass. I could just pick it right back up whenever we move downstairs. Like if I even need this glass, you know. I need for you to tell me. I forgot about my glasses. I kind of like this. Not bad. Like it's, it's honestly like not that bad of a speed for you know, us literally doing anything else while it does all of that for us. Oh, that's right. Oopsies. We need to make some campfires. Very important if I'm going to be having some bees. Come on, Meg. I thought you were going to tell me about that. I have no idea how many I want. Oh my god, I made the perfect amount. I love it when I do that. It's so much fun. Oh, sorry. I chew. <laughs> 
Oh no, my building, it's on fire, no. If I put hay right below all these campfires, would that just get the bees really high? Or is that not how that works? And then before we even place down the bees, even though I still only make the roof, but here, we'll just cover up all of the other fires with that until we make more beehives just so the little bees don't go and hurt themselves. Oh no, I don't care about lighting it up. We'll just do regular blocks. I was thinking of making it spawn proof, but nah. I mean, this is pretty cool. With the physics mod, I can actually give bees asphyxiation. Like, I know I said it as a joke, but this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> there is so much smoke. Oh my gosh, I can't even see, like, where I'm trying to put down some lights. This is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is so bad. Okay, what happens if I just open up like one block in the ceiling, huh? Okay, we need glass really fast. I need to put down the beehive to hide the fire. Okay, don't worry. I seem to have found the spot where glass is needed. Okay, I think I've covered up everything. It's a lot easier to check outside. This is so bad. Oh. I, uh, I'm starting to get a little worried. I don't think this will suffocate the bees. Oh my god. <laughs> you see guys, it's so easy. Oh wow, wait, actually, looking on my recording software, I like how you can actually like somewhat see, like you can see like little circles every now and then through it, but on my screen, it, this is completely grayed out. Okay, let's see, what happens if the bee come out? Or are they just gonna start suffocating and die? <laughs> The smoke wants to leave so badly. Wait, can I push the smoke out? Actually, kind of, yeah. Now, it's really hard to tell, but I don't think the bees are actually going to come out because they can either smell all the smoke or they're just getting accustomed. Come on, guys. If you can please come out, come on. I just want to make sure that you're not going to die before I leave. <gasps> yes? Okay, well, I don't know how big a bee's lungs are, but maybe it's just holding his breath. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I think I know how to fix this. Like, in a sense, we literally just need to build a little chimney hut thing. I think I know a legit way to fix this and, like, it not be too ugly. And the bees most likely can't escape through it. Yes, yes. Oh, wait, I never even looked this up. Oopsies. <laughs> It's seeping through the doors, <laughs> barely. <laughs> okay, yeah. So my thoughts on how to actually fix this is just building up around, like, literally just one block. It should be completely fine. Of course, I didn't bring any slabs. Why would I do that? That would be smart. Okay, now we just need to create it to where the bees will not be able to get out of here. We just need the smoke. So I'm really going to hope that half of a slab is actually going to be enough space. Let's say this high. I don't think that bees can actually get out of this. Oh, and then I just realized that I made this entire thing spawn proof. Very nice. Wow, double benefits. Now the entire building should be good. So if we go through here and then just start breaking all of this, that's actually working. Again, it's really weird to see smoke just coming out of a beehive area, like a little beekeeper's hut, but um... Okay, so checking out inside of here, the smoke is going through the ceiling, you know, it's actually working. However, it's still collecting over here because the smoke actually shoots out forwards and then just kind of bounces around a little bit. So I think if we just make this two blocks wide, that'll actually be perfect. And then we should hopefully be able to see inside and then not have to worry about our bees dying from lack of oxygen. Now subscribe if I'm wrong, but these are emerald blocks, right? I think we're good. I think everything is perfect now. Let's go see. It might be working better. I honestly can't tell. I think another one of the issues is that all of the smoke has been here for as all of the smoke is actually leaving now, which, oh God, I, I didn't want to say it, but I think I think it's the third block if i just made it one wide like right here then we never would have had to make this so massive but i just don't really want to unless i was to make a little vented area so we get rid of this let's see then what if we get rid of this block like right here that you can't see because there's so much smoke ah i think we're good now sorry i'm not a professional at making ventilation in minecraft you know i've kind of never had to do this before in my life, but I think this is good. I, I think we're okay now. Like, I really can't think of any other way on how to get rid of the smoke without letting the bees out, and I think we've perfected it. I just can't tell. I think I can remove this block right here, but I, uh, I'm too scared to do that inside because I don't know if that'll actually work. Okay, so if I wrap you there and you there, then we can delete this block, open it up even more, which I think I can actually just do that inside. There we go. Even clean it. There we go. The smoke's not really 
really collecting anymore right there. Amazing. Now, what we need to do, so we can actually make some more bees, which, oh, hello, iron. Make some shears. Go snippy, snippy. And then, wow, look at that. You guys aren't mad at me. That's amazing. And we'll just start over here. Boop, get rid of you. And boop, there we go. Next time I catch them, we're going to start breeding them. Either me making a whole lot of bees. And then I guess we'll just save up all of the honey that we get from our little lovely beehive area for the water base. Hello, hello, hello. For the water base down below. And then we'll just transport all the villagers down there. Like, I don't know if I want to make another like trading hall down there or if I want to make it look like they live in a certain area and I just build like some job areas, you know, some nice buildings for them. I'll let you decide. Oh, that's how you make a rose quartz. Oh, okay, wait, wait, that's actually pretty simple. Do I even have redstone? No, I don't have redstone. Uh, okay, so next issue. Can I even get redstone? Because I don't know if I can go down far enough to actually mine for it. We might be able to get lucky enough on one of the ships. So since this is a uh, fortune three hoe, isn't it like if I just left click, I actually get more out of it? I mean, it's not looking like it, but I mean, I remember some comments saying that if I were to use this, then I would actually get. Oh, wait, no, no. I think I did be with a pickaxe, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think it was with a pickaxe and we actually get more crops out of it. So yeah, oh, well, it, it was a good attempt. Beautiful. I don't know if I should give it to you. Get oh my God, there's a lot of you in there. Okay, so what we're going to do first is go around and then we'll just start abducting them don't dang it ah no stop it stop it stop it stop it no uh-uh no 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 composter for you okay so i'll just leave you in there for now whatever i don't care if they get any good trades you know if they do oh well i'm trying to psych out the game i actually really do care if they do get a good trade i'm definitely gonna go in there and lock it down wait now i have two cats in there well one of you has to go bye bye it's not gonna be me no 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 oh i was trying to see if i could be smart and like drop the villager like in the water like that so that they wouldn't try to run towards the composter blah 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 oh my goodness there's so much to take care of i don't know why meg's just sitting around not tending to anything helping out God, just so lazy <laughs> eh, mm. uh 64 i'm okay <laughs> like i want that in shaman but i don't want it that bad to like lose an entire stack so i'm okay and then we should definitely tend to you since i do plan on selling you that is a really interesting spot for an iron golem please do not stay there please uh Okay, can I flush you out? I can. Okay, beautiful. And then you just sink into the ocean. Yep, just like that. Okay, well, see you later, buddy. You have some fun with the fishies down there. Since every single one of those spots over there is now filled with a villager, I think what we should do is, actually, we could do it right here, is build this super beautiful containment unit for the villagers in here. So, hey, what's up, boys? It's so actually here. If you guys can rush out of here, that would actually be perfect for me because then I just go, blue, pick you up. You just keep on relaying you guys right into the lovely little holding cell and then ta-da we have an entire area ready to go again i don't know how many of these guys i'm gonna be needing but you know we might as well just keep on going what oh it's just a catfish <laughs> oh man i don't know please please hold the applause <laughs> I'm so funny. Now, since I don't care about using these swords, so we might as well just use them for the bamboo. Because, you know, I'd rather save all of my iron because we're just very limited on it, you know? And this right here is why I'm very excited for the create mod. So then I don't need to spend days going around my base, just collecting everything, making sure it's all good, you know? Like, I'd much rather have it all be automated so then I can just keep on building and then just keep on progressing forward and then lastly just to get our chores all out of the way hello bees do you have honey for me yes okay beautiful i really wish that i can come in here with more than just one of you out because like we really need to start repopulating with bees also wow all of the smoke is pretty much gone so that worked phenomenally oh another thing could have been fences up there yeah because they all have holes so the smoke would have gone right through oh oh well well you know what mine looks prettier and that's not me being biased that's me being biased okay so now if we just take our boat oh wait okay i was actually aiming i'm not gonna lie i was aiming for the cat but i'll take that over you know hitting one of the cats here uh i do want you into my boat though and, and i already know that you know they don't want you to drown so how about you get out from underneath there thank you i am starting to get a little worried about how many iron golems are starting to show up around my base because if there becomes too many of them especially the ones down below that's not gonna work anymore but that's just a theory a game theory should i play five nights at freddy's on my second channel would you be interested in that okay billy i need you to keep your eyes peeled okay we're looking for red dust 
I know you're really into that white dust, but we need it. We need that, but in red. Oh, and the best part about finally having a waypoint at home is that now we could just go wherever and we don't need to remember where we came from. Because, I mean, it's not outrageous to think that we can actually find some redstone on these ships, right? I want to take these lanterns so badly, but I think just because we're very close to day 100 that we just need to keep moving and then just keep our eyes on the actual prize. No, wait, this is a different kind of boat, isn't it? Because I don't ever remember it being this tiny. Actually, here, uh, just so Billy doesn't get harmed. What, you are- Oh my god, he's alive. Okay. Dude, I thought that they killed him. I was like, really? Okay, what is shooting? Because I know it's the guy up top, but is it one of you as well, or is it just him? Hello? Hey, can you hold this for me? Okay, wait, sorry. Can you hold that for me? There you go, thank you. Yo, I love fighting them to where they can't hit me back. That is my favorite kind of fighting. Please don't go into my boat. Oh, maybe. I don't think any of the other boats had diamonds on it. We might be able to get uh, like, oh my god, that's thunder. Hey, I mean, for, you know, the one chance that you're probably ever gonna get, I don't mind if it's thunder. You can totally blow up, light the ship on fire. Don't care. Okay, so inside here should be the very scary captain, right? Look who move! God, I hate him whenever I get stuck on really simple things. Hello? I'm not going in there. There's no way you guys are that smart. See if you can counter this. Oh my god, they countered it. Okay, fine. Try to counter this. Hey, what's up? There's more than one of you in there, huh? Oh, it's actually just one? Okay, sweet. And hello, kid. Huh? Huh? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did my loot just go into the ocean? Hello? Oh my god, it did. Hello? Yep, please come here. Yep, yep, I need all of you. Oh no, I didn't want you to go into the water. What? Okay, I think that was everything. So what are you? Double-edged sword. Wow. You're actually a lot better than diamond. Oh, I wonder if I can enchant this. Dude, if I could put mending on this, that would actually be incredible. Hi, right, Billy, would you like to be a little testo me for me? Okay, yeah, I didn't know that you could actually jump that high. I thought you were going to hit me. Sorry. Oh, man, I thought it was going to be a fair fight. Uh, eh. Okay, oh, well, let's go check out the next one, Billy. Yeah, I'm pretty positive the only way to get redstone is by mining it or finding it in a dungeon. Like, I don't think I can trade for it right since we're so close to day 100 i think what i'm gonna do is we'll just check out this ship right here we'll just see if that has the loot whatsoever which i truly doubt but if i don't find any redstone on here then we're just gonna go back home and then i'm just gonna see how can i increase the pressure at which i can uh, go down oh my god <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> well i guess you can say that this is going well oh my god oh when i hit them they go up Ow, ow. I really want to jump over this and just fight them. Okay. <laughs> but I know that if I go up there, I'm I'm just gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, if I can at least just stand up here for more than like half of a second, that'd be greatly appreciated. Oh my god. <laughs> I really hope that there's no spawner. Okay. <laughs> I can't get up. They're bullying me. Meg, they're bullying me. At least they're starting to die. I think I've hit them like maybe five times. The rest of the kills are between each other. Come, there we go. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, we've gained access from memory. You guys really didn't have that good of loot. And then we might as well just take this. Perfect for the villagers. Hello. Oh my God, there's so many of you. I like how if I hit one of them though, it actually spreads around to all of them. So this makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, hello. I see you. Uh, I regret seeing you. Please don't shoot me. And then I rush you. Uh. Now, call me crazy, but I'm starting to think that none of the ships out in the ocean are actually good to loot. No, like, I could be going crazy here. I, I might have to bring out the Joker voice. Also, I'm just opening up all of these little trap doors so that then the sun can actually go through. Please don't hit me. And then just light all the bad mobs on fire, you know? Actually, here, let's be brave. Oh my god, no, I don't have any water okay that's not fair that's not fair that's not fair wait 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 i need to go get some water this is like actually important action is coming hello nice yes more one shots that's what we like to see around here oh so there's tnt right there so if i'm on the outside of the ship if i just shoot any of these little target blocks we could start blowing it up i didn't know that that's actually cool please don't blow up <gasps> oh my god oh my god we can actually get redstone <gasps> oh this is huge i again like i know it's only three don't get me wrong but the fact that we can actually get redstone from this is insane. So you remember how like a few minutes ago, I just said that maybe the ships aren't worth looting. So maybe I was wrong. 
You know, maybe they actually are worth looting. Holy, how many are down there? Okay, if I just stay like right here, we might be able to kill them. Oh my God, there's so many of you. Please stop trying to shoot me, please. I just want redstone. That's all I want. There's no way it's safe, right? Uh, that was a bit too easy. I don't believe you. I feel like I'm being gaslighted. I was gaslighted. Ah, 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 I need to light it up. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, wait, really quickly. There was more redstone in that one. Beautiful. Hey, 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 hey. I got a bow too. Hey, wait, wait, I can 360 you as well. 720. Oop. Okay, wait, miss. Okay, wait. 360, 720, 1080, 1440. Ooh, got him. <laughs> so much better. Oh, <gasps> yes, yes. I think I can make maybe two almost. Oh my god, what? He's cheating. He's got god mode on. He's in creative mode. Ooh, hello, hidden. Maybe it is a good thing that we're collecting all the hay bales. It has redstone. Beautiful. We actually looted the entire ship. And now that I know that I can get some redstone out of this, I don't know how much I actually need of it, but I do remember that there is another one of these ships like right next to our house. So I think we need to go over there and actually loot that one just to see if there's any redstone in it. Don't think I could ever get tired of this physics mod when we're we're sailing. Is the cat hitting like the skibbity toilet dance or something? Is he trying to take a phantom tax? Is he trying to show his yacht to the Rizzler? <laughs> Oh, God, dude, that was some serious airtime. Yeah. There she blows. Possibly some more redstone. Oh, my God. I'm so ashamed. I even left some of the TNT. Hello, governors. I'm British. Oh, you're American. Oh, God, you're American. Look, okay, it's a little weird how all of you are just waiting your turn, just staying in these areas, but thank you. Hi. Okay, now, don't be afraid now, okay? You guys are more than welcome to just shoot each other, hit each other in the back, you know? Is it safe? Is it okay for me to end? Sure. Oh my god, why are there creepers up here? Oh no, 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 because I know that there's still TNT down there. Oh, oh okay. Dude, these guys want to blow out my back so badly. Like, please don't. Oh, dang it. No, the creeper, please. Uh, okay, just some more don't spawn in. Yeah, we need to start lighting you up. God, there's a creeper down there, but you know what, I'm down for fun. I'm down. Calm down, chill, relax, daddy, chill. Wait. Whew. Get rid of that. Uh, here, since we're over here, we'll go for this chest first. I don't know where that creeper went, but I don't want him to come back. Oh, creeper. Creeper. Do you want to know how I got this gunpowder? You see, my father, he used to loot pirate ships. I don't know why Warner Brothers doesn't hire me to be a joker. I think I would kill it in a positive way. So, I mean, we got golden apples, you know, like, it's pretty cool, whatnot. It's just, oh, man, didn't get one redstone from this entire ship. I could be mistaken, but I don't think I am. Which I guess is kind of cool so that then we can always get different kind of loot per ship. However, we should be good to head home. And and, you know, we can make at least a few of the mechanical crafters. The problem is, is that I need to build 21 of them. And I think I have enough resources or two. So we might need to go searching again because I, I don't think I can get low enough to actually mine out redstone because down there, that's like 70. I think redstone spawns around like negative 20. So it might be a little bit of a yo ho, yo ho. It's my cat behind me. Not like that. Now, I love the double edged sword, but I really really don't want it to break so we'll just keep it in there until we try to enchant it because i honestly don't know if it'll even let me oh wait do i not have any nether quartz i don't and i also don't have fortune three on my pick oh you who nether quartz where are you oh hey i guess i need a cat call more often it actually came out so before we head back home i think we need to collect about 21 can you do something for me nether quartz just so we have enough for every single mechanical crafter yeah, yeah, yeah that's what they're called oh i got 22 okay well pfft. That was fast. <laughs> Time to go back home. So now, from memory, I think it was just this. You do that. Boom. I get rose quartz. And then, did I need to smush it? Oh, no. There has to be another way to do it, right? Okay, wait. Sandpaper. How do you make that? That has to be easy, right? Oh, pff, tremendously easy. Yes, absolutely. I swear my life I had sand. Wait, where are you? Don't do this to me. Am I going insane? Do you want to know how I got this sand? You're friendly, right? Why are you coming for me? Why are you coming for me? Why are you coming for me? Why? 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 Hey, 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 chill, 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 daddy, chill, daddy, chill. Okay, never mind, never mind. We need to go, 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 go. Why is the shark attacking me now? <gasps> I want to know how I got these shark bites. <laughs> Where did little bro go? What? Wait, so you came out there. You wanted to take some bites of my little peach. Well, big peach, mind you. And then he just disappears. Okay, fine. So we dive down this side. So we're nice and safe. And then here's our little 
air bubble column. Now I can, oh my God, I think that's the shark. I can't tell if that shark's coming down here or not, but let's be really fast then. Uh, oh, hey, iron golem, can you protect me? <laughs> You're not mad at me, right? I don't know what happened to all my sand. I swear in my life I had at least a stack. Okay, beautiful. We have 28 of those. So hopefully, you know, that's all that we're gonna be needing in the future. Let's quickly go before I start feeling a tongue on my no-no square. Okay, so you go like that, you go like that. Boom, now we have some sandpaper. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, wait, 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 maybe offhand that oh oh my god wait was i correct do i deserve a like for that i can't believe i actually guessed that correctly what or maybe you just like hold right click like i didn't need it in my offhand i'm stunned that that worked i legit had no idea that that's how that actually works okay so then we just need an iron sheet which luckily super easy that's not a challenge whatsoever we might as well just leave that right there it's Perfect. Ta-da! An electron tube. I have no idea how to get brass, but I have a feeling that it is, is that I need to go mining. <gasps> oh, oh, wait. Okay, so it's copper and zinc. Yes, that's how you get brass. Okay, duh, it's not by mining. The big problem is making all of this. I have a feeling that I am immediately trying to jump into a, like, a mid-game factory right now. No, oh, God. However, we have to do this because I actually really desperately need that. I think we risk it. So here, let's just go see again. Let, let's see how far down I can go, and I kind of also just want to see if I can get that deep pressure debuff again, just so I can see what mod it is, so that then we can figure out how we can go deeper without taking damage. I like the way that my head is. I don't need you to concave it. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we're gonna be fast. You, what are you? Uh, ocean, blah, 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 pressure. Okay, so it, it is that mod. Okay, so maybe there's a special new helmet that I need to go build. I looked up the mod and it didn't even talk about anything whatsoever about pressure or even helmets. The mod didn't even contain helmets or nothing for us to actually go down deep. So I just removed it. It was the one that just added those boats where if I break the crate, it gives me a stick. So really, it's just useless. Oh my God, no, 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 not these fish, please. No, 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 no. Please don't come after me. Please don't come after me, please. But... We should be able to go down here. Okay. Why oh, do I hear something like right behind me? Oh my God, that sounds terrifying. Okay, go, 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 go. What are you? I think that's just a regular fish. Okay, Meg, you need to calm down. We're safe. If you look at this, like I, I know it's really hard to because it's insanely dark, but if Meg, you know, turns off the exposure for you guys and, you know, we care about you, we're just so kind. <gasps> oh my God, there's even andesite down here. Oh my God, there's so many things. Oh, I just want to mine everything. Oh, I'm finally not starving for resources. Oh, you're looking poor and I want you to. If I break that, I can put you down. Oh my God goodness yes we can actually see oh hello light i've missed you same with oxygen there we go so i'm sorry about the first 96 days and us you know having to play in the very unique way to get stuff but at least it was fun you know we got some interesting stories out of it and now we can actually make progress and go fast since this is actually relatively easy to find and then i just need to look for my torch i think i know an, a very interesting way to actually make a mine shaft in this world like really fast we literally do that and then now we start going down. <laughs> <laughs> literally the easiest way to do it and then i'm just gonna ignore the coal for now we can come back in the future if we really need more of it i think that's the right copper that we need but we're just gonna ignore it we're just gonna go for all of the resources that we actually really need and then off the top of my head i'm pretty sure it was copper and zinc that makes brass i just don't know if it's this copper like is it any copper or is it the create copper i have no idea and i can't lie i hope you feel the same way i'm loving this world so much more than the previous one so i hope the adventures that we go on We'll make up for it, you know, starting over and stuff. I hope you're not too sad about technically losing the old world or leaving it behind. But I think we're going to have way more fun on this. Hello, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is crazy. This is really good, by the way. So what we're going to do is be smart. We're going to just start mining along the edges of this instead of trying to like water bucket down or anything. Also, I want all of this copper. Oh, my gosh, there's even gravel in here. Oh, my God. I, I should not have been standing on that. I could have just fell. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, there's redstone. Okay, I'm gonna try really hard to be fast in here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to be careful in here. I'm just gonna, you know, say hi to the mobs that are immediately in my way, like this guy. But I wanna be really fast in here because we are cutting it really close. It's just we desperately need all of this stuff. Especially zinc, because I know you're important. And we'll just keep collecting copper. I just, I don't know if this is the one that I need for the create mod. Yes! 
Thank you. I'm pretty sure that there's a way to make a redstone farm, but I don't know. If you do, if you could tell me in the comments down below if that's possible, that'd be awesome. Why is there a lot of you spawning? It's not my birthday. You don't need to celebrate my birthday. Nope, nope, it's okay. Don't need to touch me. Please, I don't want to fight. I just want to mine. Except that's a really big issue now, but oh my god, this place is so huge. It is so much like Meg's forehead. <laughs> Like, well, we're out of torches. We have some stuff. It's just, I don't think, you yeah, know, I don't have any wood on me. So we're just going to leave. Except the issue is that there's so many children chasing me. And I don't like that. So then, since here, since I don't have a door with me, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to be silly little gooses, you know? If they, oh my God, they're still chasing me. Okay. Yep. There you go. See you later. I am not skippity toilet. You don't need to follow me. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my God. You're kidding me. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Please. Okay, you're friendly. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, 26. We can make like three more. Not bad. We just need to figure out how to make brass. I don't know if that's going to be possible this movie, but we're going to try. Now, is this the only way to do it? Because I am not going to be able to get a blaze burner for quite some time. I already know it. Oh, wait, it's that cheap. Wait, no. Because then how do you put the blaze into it? Mysterious conversion? I feel like that's not the only way. I really want to believe that if I just make some copper ingots and I make some zinc ingots and then we just like combine them together in here or maybe I like I push them together uh, press them together oh no this is the only way no so basically what I'm getting at is that I just need to take all of this iron we we're gonna go be smart. I, I'm not gonna do this by hand. That'll take way too long and just like, eh, you know? So instead, so we're gonna be super duper smart and we're just gonna stick you there. <gasps> oh, wait, that actually worked. Oh, I didn't even need my wrench. Okay, I'm beautiful. Please don't break. Okay, good. If you don't wanna lose my world. Okay, what if I put you on that? Okay, you're still not going. Okay, what if I put you on that? Oh, wait, don't I just need to put something below it and then it'll just start working? Is that why you're not going? What if I do that? You want to go? Oh, it's working. Wow. Wow. You are seeing this in real time. Just smushing all of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't tell if the left one is faster than the right one, but I don't think it is. But that's brutal. We are not making this before the end of the movie. That is not going to be a possibility. Okay, well, I guess while that goes, let's go see the other stuff. We, we can multitask. Wait, you're telling all of that food and you guys just stopped making babies he had enough time to grow up wait there's no way i handed you like five or six stacks of food Bruh. we might as well just go through make a couple and it's like casings you know why not goodness this is so amazing like i don't need to care about andesite alloys anymore because i could just very easily make them like oh amazing so much even shy phenomenal oh this is so much nicer than using an axe oh i, oh, I love the create mod it's so kind. Okay, we might actually be able to make the whisk just so we can make that mechanical mixer right now so I don't have to remember this for the future. <laughs> Let's see, especially before our iron disappears, like any second. Oh, beautiful, get right back to work, bud. I think it was like this, and we go bop. Okay, beautiful. Then we go boom, bomb, bing. Perfect. Okay, so we got one of the three. Beautiful. Love that. Perfect. That one was super easy as well. And then here, yeah, let's just put them in the order that they're going to have to go. So you go like that. And then we have you up here. What? There's to be filter. Oh, that's cool. Now, actually, here. What if I were to just throw you in there like that? No. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't cooking any of the zinc. Okay, then we put the zinc in there. Oh, you're not a crank one. You're one that requires a wheel, which would be over there. There. But then none of those wheels are actually facing the right way. Ah, well, it is day 100. We're running out of time. So I think what we're going to do instead, just so future me doesn't forget what was going on here or what we need to do. So first off, the first sign, make a blaze burner. We need to make some brass, copper plus zinc. Finish the villager trading post area. We need some more enchants. And then lastly, for the 200 days movie, we need to make 21 auto crafters. We need to make four total crushing wheels with a 21 auto crafters. Wow, that is like a really good good spot for our home waypoint just to block everything there. I think that's, you know, some good challenges for the next movie. I think we'll be able to do all three of these in 100 days. And I think we can all agree that we did a lot of progress in here. We have a beautiful start. Very excited for this world. We have so much to do and so much to look forward to. So I hope you're excited for this. If you think that there's anything else that I can or should do in the next movie, please, please do tell me. I'm trying to think of everything just so we can start building a very nice water base down there. And I'd appreciate your feedback on everything. So I hope you enjoyed the movie. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. See ya.